Hey, hey, we are live with Crow Inquisitors, episode 72. We're at the beginning of season Holy six. Cow. Yeah. And uh, we just uh, left off doing a, a trait vote and kind of figuring out our last kind of arc towards the finish line. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, we got some new overlays here. I finally updated this game to the new overlay template. Um, I think I was, I was just overthinking it before I was trying to like figure out like, Oh, what's the, what should be the new color scheme? And I was like, no, 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 I'm just going to keep it basically exactly the same, but with the new overlay template, <laughs> uh, and not change anything else about it. Uh, the colors are the same, but I, I think it looks really nice now. It's, it looks really sleek. If you'd like to go to Adam, uh, twitch.tv slash Caleb on powers, you can see the overlays right currently up. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you can see, see what's going on. There. Um, I think they look really nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, one last thing we, so we did a lot of like, uh, talking about beliefs and, um, did trait vote and stuff last time. Um, I would like to reference the fact that we, and I don't know if we changed this on your sheet yet, Theo, but we did have a conversation in the chat after the, that session, after that trait vote session where we gave Theo his deeds points back. Um, Okay. Yeah, we we decided that the best way to kind of fix the weirdness that we did with the faith and will stuff, uh, where I kind of like gypped Theo out of uh, his proper order of getting a white shade faith. Um, oh, because you messed up the rules, right? Uh -huh, and we wanted uh -huh. to fix them. We wanted to play them correctly instead of the messed up way we were playing them. Yeah. Um, and here's the question, I guess. Actually, here's uh, here's the question. Dude, I, I don't remember what we decided in, in the chat now. Uh, about this particularly um are we just taking away the two deeds points that um you had spent in uh will kind of like for no reason and leaving the one in there that you had to spend to save yourself from the demon in season three right and then the idea is that you're going to get one more deeds point by the end of the game and then be able to shade shift I think I think that was yeah because I, I you said I was gonna get one and, it, and but we were like it's not gonna go to anything and I'm probably not gonna get to the end and so I would just use that to right. just basically uh, wait yeah because the way it works right now right is um, currently you can I think this will work out pretty pretty nicely uh, Adam uh, you right now you have a G a gray shaded eight faith <clears throat> which is ridiculous um, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you. Um, you can, we have two, two deeds points, right? Um, you have 13 fate and 24 persona in faith right now. Um, which means the moment you spend one of those deeds points, you will temporarily white shade it for a scene, right? So you'll have a moment of power here upcoming where you can choose to use whenever, spend one deeds point in it. And you've unlocked that first threshold of like getting the temporary white shade. Um, and then you can, you could spend your second deeds point. Um, at some other point, no matter, you know, d doesn't matter where, if you need a boost at some point with your faith, you can, you can choose to do that. The, the moment you spend that third deeds point, once you upgrade that and, and all three have been spent in faith, that's the moment where it, it becomes permanently shade shifted to white. So this will let you use your deeds points too, in some fun ways. Like you can decide like what moment to use it on. Um, because like it's you... nicer than what you actually, what we actually talked about. I, I think we were just going to like have them on there. And then I was just going to get one more, but you're saying I can actually spend them. Um, oh no. I, I if, even if I did say that I would rather just give them to you to spend again, because really like, well, let's think about it. You spent them on nothing. In, you, you literally spent I, them as a throwaway to just shade your will and the will you roll you spent it on like the unlearn the being learned meditation roll it meant nothing at all and, and that's such a dumb way to spend the deeds point and it's totally my fault I, I would like to give you your deeds points back <laughs> well yeah the the reason we did that was because we thought that will would be more useful and then we were like oh yeah we can also do will and faith so we might as well just put it on the will but well that wasn't yeah. true and so we were it was like, not true. Oh, I just yeah. can't put it on faith because Will didn't I, really anything. I had some sort of fever dream uh, that was immediately uh, dashed for me in the Burning Wheel Discord when I was talking about this. I'm like, so how do you guys handle this situation? And they're like, this does not, this is not a thing. I don't know why you think that Will is tied to faith. What is going on here? And I was like, <laughs> well, uh, I could have sworn. And I was like, looking back through the book, I'm like, I could have sworn, guys. I thought I saw it. But, but like, I couldn't, I can't get my will any higher because there's not any like high will. So we're like, wait, so there's nothing you can really do. Like you don't get like eight difficulty will. It's like all of the, the meditation were like four. 
Like that was like a highest yeah. it would be. And so it's like, well, why do I, why would I, I can't even do it's it. It's a very useless thing to spend it on. Yeah. Um, yeah. This does mean that your will goes down to black shade again. Uh, it's yeah. no longer gray shade will. Um, it, which, and it also means really that. Anyways, so. I don't know if you, did you even open any? No, you didn't open any skills in the meantime with with no. uh, your gray shade will. Um, the one I actually wanted to was uh, throwing, but because I could throw my shred. And... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted to enchant it, too. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely going to be some stuff there. And hey, that might be a deeds worthy thing to spend it on, right? Um, I want so it to, like, you... ring, like, in Minecraft when you, like, throw the, the <laughs> trident. Like, you yeah, you, you want Thor's hammer. That's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, it's what not that powerful, but it's, like, it'd be nice if it came back. That way I could, like, because, yeah. like, the one time I threw it, I was, like, missing it for, like, the longest time because uh, I was at Alphonse where he, like, made it disappear outside. It was like, what the heck, man? Mm, yeah 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 um but okay cool so that so that's something we decided off screen that i wanted to make sure we got uh uh listed here and uh, talked about here so you are currently at a gray shaded eight um a gray shaded eight faith and the reason you have a gray shade currently is because we need to add um the chosen one die trait do oh, you yeah that's right yeah Hold on. um Theo definitely got the most upgrades out of anyone, I think, in that trait vote there. But to be fair, he did come back to life as, like, God's servant on Earth. So I feel like that's okay. <laughs> um, poor Dylan only got booming voice. <laughs> Sorry, I've got all this stuff well, out already. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, I think Dylan and Alphonse have... They got the, upgraded uh, early. They- yeah. yeah, they they they've had their time in the sun. Uh-huh. Hey, I feel like I'm having like a swing round. You know, it's like I did like <laughs> nothing for her. I just kind of I was like a moderate fighter. I was kind of like I was just clearing the way for Dellen, and so for most of the game. And so, I, and the you know, I remember the very first thing I tried to do was climb a wall, and I got struck by lightning. So, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and I was injured for like. A long the entire time. rest of the that season. Awful, yeah. 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 Injuries are brutal in this game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But okay. So Adam has, uh, Theo has chosen one, which is that's the thing that gray shades his faith. The, the, it lists um, and as if a player character possesses the faithful trait, he may purchase this trait to make the faith shade gray. Right. Um, so that's the reason why he can uh, temporary and permanently shade it white because his, his, it's now shaded gray and, and uh, the epiphany is in Aristeas. They, they shade shipped up from what you currently have. Whereas if we did it the other way around, he could have gotten a gray shade faith with his deeds points, but the chosen one trait does not make your faith white. It makes it, it just makes it gray, right? So yeah, you, there's a proper order to this. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I like the way this this shaked out. Uh, another thing that we need to keep in mind here, where, where I was going to kind of jump into it and um, do uh, beliefs and instincts and whatnot. And actually, you know, let's just go ahead and do that now because the we we changed all of these traits and stuff. So th- we'll remind ourselves of what happened, what changed with your characters as we read these off. I think, um, and if we miss anything, I'll, I'll I'll remind you guys. I just listened back through the the trait vote episode. So, uh, Connor, what is Kintarius about? Are you asking me to go through my beliefs, the trait list, or do you want me to also traits. give like? Yeah, we'll we'll do the whole thing. Oh, uh, I mean, like, do you want me to also like introduce my character as like? No, that's fine. No, Anyone who's okay. watching se- episode seventy-two of yeah, Rome does not <laughs> need an introduction. That's to these a good characters. point. I actually always think we'd do a whole episode like going back through all oh, the oh, important moments in the first yeah, six seasons. Yeah. yeah. Well, we should uh, obviously this... frame it as like a you you go to a tea house or something, and then every every yeah, time we all like, talk about you, you rem- it. Yeah, you reminisce crazy, about guys. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you remember when we? It's like, a, and it's a filler episode where yeah. Like, uh, all we're all doing like weird goofy things in the tavern and there's some dumb subplot uh, that doesn't matter that's the yeah yeah we're like an arm, arm wrestle tournament or mm-hmm, just something mm-hmm. like that yeah, <laughs> some old guy and his creepy like 12 year old looking uh, girlfriend show up and uh, yeah start yeah hacking and everything yep. yeah yeah uh, okay so this world is more than blood and gold I will use the intellectual discipline to clear the obstacles in my path despite the risks the world will not end not on my watch we will take the keys back from Faustus I am a demon hunter, but my friends come first. I will make sure all of my friends stay alive. Instincts always be on the lookout. Always be on the lookout for the bonds that tie demons to the physical world. Always offer forgiveness to those who repent. Always be on the hunt for demons. Um, 
and traits. Let's get that big trait list. Uh, foreign blood, gifted, ear for voices, iron will, celestial sight, tenacious, feared, affinity for demons, or a martyrdom, spirit walker. Oh yeah, that's I can go to the demon realm. Mm-hmm. Dreadful, driven, aura of determination, resigned to death. Yeah. So the main change with Cantarius is we gave we got, got rid of lung. black lung and broken soul which were like the yeah. his like magical disease trait um and then subsumed second sight into celestial sight which says yeah. uh those with celestial sight do not see as mortals do no visible light affects their eyes instead their vision is confined to the realm of auras they see the pure auric emanations given off by life arcana and ephemera celestial sight is an improved version of second sight or the spell mage sense these abilities show a cloudy distorted window to the other side whereas celestial sight sees clearly without impediment with this trait one can see the auras of spellcraft the obstacle to detect a spell cast is six minus the spell obstacle uh, the ob is zero if the ob is zero the spell is seen outright celestial sight grants the ability to use the aura rating scale lastly celestial sight counts as observation and suffers no obstacles for darkness uh, weather can't af- can affect celestial sight though uh, and we decided that Cantarius would, um, like, stop coughing. Um, but then throughout this session, slowly black veins were going to start creeping up towards your eyes. And and then suddenly at one point, probably when you're using your magic, your eyes will go like a smoky black. And suddenly you will lose natural sight as your magical disease starts to advance. But hey, it will be better for now. Like, it, it's actually a good thing for now. It'll probably was it, worse. Was but... Cantarius blind at the beginning? He was, which is why this is so such yeah. a full fun. Okay, because I was like, like, I swear he was blind at one point. Yep. yep. Kind of, now I see, and then I was blind again. <laughs> for the um, uh, for the the spinoff that we do, the uh, Sparrow Crusaders, I was going to be deaf. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Yep. So that's that's what's going on with Cantarius. Um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else really to talk about with Cantarius. Um, you're he pretty dead set. Yeah, you're you're pretty dead set on just going straight towards Faustus, right? Like all of your beliefs are tied yeah. to that. You're like, yeah, got to get but, there. But right? he, but he's he's less revenge now since you know Theo's not actually dead. Theo's not. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the main <laughs> like story. Yeah. Beat you're just thing. like there are obstacles on our way to Faustus. We're gonna remove them and get those keys, yeah. right? Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, Dylan Tawn. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Beliefs. I think all of your beliefs should be updated because we did them last time. I think so. Yeah. Although it looks like I might be missing the second half to this one, but that's okay. Uh, Sergio may have repented, but the Inquisition Inquisition is still beyond saving. I will ensure that its leaders are punished and its membership disbanded. That My is father, still relevant. Yeah, that is yeah. still relevant because the Inquisition is still around. They're going to be, yeah. My father and Faustus have both thrown their lots behind my nephew. To get to Impina and Luca, I must reach the demon that has claimed them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the mountain of forest looms ever larger. I will bring the city back from the brink. That one probably needs more specific information. <clears throat> and on my blade in my life, I shall hold the enemies of God at bay. The worst of these is Faustus and his master. I will expel this demon from his host one way or another. Right, right, yeah. Um, our idea for belief three, uh, Dallin, was going to be to give you as Dallin a chance to help the city as you guys are making your way to faustus like there will mm-hmm. be like innocent in danger from the chaos sure. and delon could yeah. step in to help them um okay. so i'm fine keeping it how it is it is vague but i think i think we can make it work good. cool instincts never go unarmed under any circumstances do whatever it takes to win when something more important than myself is at stake never leave a word against the holy god unchallenged Cool. And then last but not least, traits. Thank you. Uh, disciplined, prominent scar, uh, faithful, mark of privilege, tonsured, fearless, believer, gifted, sworn to the church, commanding aura, spirit walker, and deadly precision. Uh, and then cons are nimble and booming voice. Yeah. Cool stuff. Uh, yeah, Dellen's, um you know, you're all basically in the same boat here. You're after after Faustus, though Delon has some, you know, other responsibilities such as his his uh, nephew and his sister and the city in general mm-hmm. um, that he's worried about. Uh, Alphonse, what we got? My family will always come first. Now that the city is in chaos, I will ensure that my son is saved. Uh, mm-hmm. We must finish this fight so that Lucerta can finally be at peace. I will defeat Faustus so that his strange hold on the city is removed stranglehold yeah you spelled it wrong 
<laughs> Did I spell it wrong? I think you wrote that. I, you always rewrite mine. I don't know if I wrote, wrote that one. I'm going to say that I didn't so that I can keep my. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose the orb, it's game over, man. I will keep the orb safe for the ritual. <laughs> I hate that belief so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I still have it. Yeah. I'll always find a reason to use my powers. Always try to surpass Dellen. Always do what I can to protect family and friends. Mark of privilege, gifted, tall tale teller, rapier wit, aura of magic, lucky, oh, yeah. charismatic, fleet of foot, familiar face, glib, genius, sonorous voice. I forgot that we gave you lucky. <laughs> Give me a second. I got to copy that. That text over so you know what it does again. Did he lose spirit walker. He yes. did. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. There was a whole thing where he it got taken from him. Uh, so lucky as a reminder for everybody uh, is worded there's always the lucky ones always they make the rest of us look like schlubs while they skate through life this trait can be used in a number of ways first it can be used as a call on for any ability this can only be used once per, per adventure second it can be used to buy off one failed roll to save the character's life once a failed armor test a flubbed speed test etc the test is passed and the trait is lost Lastly, if the player makes a random in-game guess via roleplay, the guess is always right, so long as the player isn't aware the guess is right. There you go. My guess is that Cantarius is gay. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> that does not count. <laughs> Made by <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> that does not count. Oh yeah, yeah. We'd get a we'd get a whole episode long of Cantarius's gay lover that we've <laughs> yeah. never heard about. Uh <laughs> In, in the flashback episode. Like, whoa! Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, I hate it so much. Wait, Crow Inquisitors? What? Yeah. Have you guys seen Viva La Dirt League? Uh, stuff? You know uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have but, you seen the one where uh, Rowan uh, starts a new game, he's playing with Brit, and uh, he puts all of his points into charisma, and every time they go to fight something, he's just making out with it, and uh, uh, just somehow beats the encounter that way and then she they get to the final demon fight she's like all right i've been trying to do this for months and then she like gets up over, like out of cover and he's just making out with the demon and she's like <laughs> she's super mad and the demon's like i don't want to be evil anymore <laughs> that's that's yeah katarius is gonna make out with uh with um, targoth there you go yeah, yeah exactly there you go. okay I, anyway i think i saw uh, a similar one to that but not exact that, that one exactly but yeah that one's they're so good Anyway, uh, Alphonse, Alphonse also got genius and sonorous voice last time as, as part of the trait vote. Um, genius is like the evolution of like, it just might work of like somehow Alphonse has these crazy plans and they do indeed work, which is why he has the call on for it now, uh, specifically with the spatial discipline. So he's really good at doing random stuff with teleportation. Uh, all right, cool. Last but not least, we got Theo. Beliefs, I must transcend to sainthood to protect those I love and enact the justice of the one true God, and I will strengthen my faith. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two, there is one God, the rest are demons. I will help find and defeat Faustus and secure the keys. Very nice. Three, I am destined to save the world, but Asia is my main concern, and I will find her and protect her at all costs. Yes. I don't think I've heard of yet. Um, we have not. Yeah. Instincts, if wielding power will enact God's justice, then I will take it eagerly. Uh, always trust my friends and never heed danger. And traits. Nice. I forgot you had that one. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Never heed danger. Never, never heed danger. You, you really played yeah. into that one well. <laughs> um, all your traits there. Traits: attractive, light blonde hair, appreciation for beauty, die traits. Life is death. Faithful, glory hound, fearless, believer, spirit walker, aura of holiness. I think I forgot about that one. That was new. Yeah, that's uh, new. So yep. Chosen one. Um, and then my call on is show no fear and clairvoyant. Yeah, is clairvoyant is one of the new ones. I really like this one. Um, we we've kind of subsumed Theo's constant obsession with using faith rules to decide where to go next into a trait that allows him to uh see the cost of their actions a split second before they happen, allowing them to subtly <laughs> nudge fate's hand. Um, this trait acts as a call on for one skill of the player's choice per session. So it can change from session to session. And, um, and in all fairness, like I had, I, I don't think I've used my call. I think I've called used my call on like once because my, 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 so I've never seal call really, on. Yeah. Yeah. I've never really used any call on. So this is, this would be like the first one I get to use. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then Chosen One we talked about already. Tough, he has, the, which you know makes him tougher because he survived death. Uh, and then Aura of Holiness. Um, this will be relevant when we meet Faustus. Uh, this character is bathed in a divine light. Any character with a lawbreaker, dreaded spirit nature, or aura of malevolence traits must immediately t- make a take a seal task when entering the holy character's presence. Add the character's will exponent to the hesitation obstacle. In addition, this character's suasion dice are always considered open-ended. So yeah. There you go. I don't have suasion dice. You do not have suasion. You could try learning that. I mean, but I had probably personal. a little late for that. Why is suasion and persuasion two different things? Uh, suasion is religious persuasion. What? It's a it's basically, yeah, you can't like, use suasion uh, unless you're like talking about their soul. They're, they're a mortal soul, right? Like you should do this in because it's in the best interest of your immortal soul and your eternal destiny. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a whole there's like a bunch of religious versions of the like standard skills. There's like a religious oratory. There's a religious. Is Delon have it? I don't know. I have uh, Delon, Delon has suasion, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. The first thing on our list of things that will happen until the end is conversations. Um, so you guys are uh, at the Wharf District currently. Um, you've just fought a bunch of the um, Shoei troops, and they've mostly surrendered at this point, that any of them that are left over. Um, uh, most recently the king was fighting them with like the holy knights and stuff. And, um, Kont- Kontarius' uncle showed up with a bunch of samurai from Teko to help out right, as right. well. And, uh, that's where we left off. You guys were like, had a conversation about like where to go next with Faustus and stuff, but we wanted to take a moment to like talk to the, those characters. I think, uh, Delon was going to just like quickly confer with the king and be like, okay, sounds good. Like, you know, you keep ra- rounding people up. We're going to go take care of this demon threat. Uh, Kentarius was going to have a conversation with his uncle um, and then Theo was going to try to find Achia. Um that, that was like the, the next thing on yeah. on the list here I don't, and I don't know if Alphonse had anyone in particular he wanted to talk to but you know now would be the time to do it um, so um, Dylan let's we can probably start with you right um, this will probably be a quick conversation um, De- do you still have your horse did you lose your horse in all this where, where did your horse end up um, I feel Actually, like I had a horse because I think I rode here. Oh, I think uh, you stabled him. I mean, I, I rode him across the water to get to the fight here. Remember that? Yes, um, you did. You did fight with on the horse, but then you had to get down the horse at some point. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember I brought Cantarius here on the horse, but I do think I had to get off at some point, but I don't know that I lost it. I'm not yeah. sure. But you, I, I think what we might see is Dellen like going back to retrieve his horse or at least make sure yeah. his horse is like being taken care of before you guys head out. Um, sense, yeah. And then, yeah, you see the line, uh, or what was the line of of um, the front line of combat, and it's you know just but you know lots of uh, priest healers and stuff going around, like that healing group that you whoever's left of them <laughs> right. going around yeah. and healing uh, any w- injured soldiers. And uh, yeah, you see the king um, being healed. Uh, he had like a uh, cut in his arm uh, and uh, being healed by by some random priest of that healer group, and uh, he looks tired. Um, there was a reminder, this king is played by Timothy Chalamet. Um, he's a young, young lad. <laughs> uh, and he, he looks up at you and gives you like a slightly odd look. He says, Dallin. Oh, what, what we, ha- what's his title? Oh, sorry. Uh, you could probably call him his majesty. Okay. Yeah. Your, your majesty. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, he, he just says, you certainly had one timely arrival. Yeah, well, you know, I uh, would have been here sooner. Anyways, uh, fortunately, it's not over. Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't it? Why would it be? We're going to drive towards the heart of the problem. But uh, as I'm sure you're aware, this rioting all over the city and uh, I can only be in one place at a time. So I need, need to make sure that you are going to be able to get things under control. He uh, seems really overwhelmed, uh, and yeah. I think he he's just like he, maybe even a little bit in shock, right? From the from the, mm-hmm. the fight, he's probably not been in a fight <laughs> for real right. until this moment. Uh, and I think he he just says, "I don't, I, I don't know what, I, what." I, and you can say, yeah, he just he's kind of like he's failed the steel test. He's he's stuttering for a moment. I w- I would like Dellen. It's probably not going to be super difficult, but I think it would be fun to see Dellen like as leader, just be like, get a hold of yourself, or however you would pr- approach that, right? Like, be like, no, sure. this is what you need to do. Here are your orders. <laughs> like, obviously, you wouldn't <laughs> say it like that. Well, right. you might. 
that's, yeah. that's, that's my question, really, I guess, is how would Dellen go about, like, inspiring the king to actually do his job, right? Yeah. Um, sorry, the samurai from Tekko, right? Yep. So, so that's accurate. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Kantaris' so yeah. uncle is the ambassador sent from Tekko, and uh, okay. it sounds like he has been secretly... Or, or maybe like part of his staff was samurai or something. You're not entirely sure how that worked okay. out, but he like knew sure. samurai in the city or something. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what the situation was as far as like the rest of the city being in danger, right? Like, um, yeah, I mean, you, the, the, you guys were, you were um, giving a speech, uh, Dellen, right? Uh, to, because the city was, right. had gone into mild chaos because the gods had left or the pantheon yeah, had, yeah. had evacuated everybody. Um, and you gave a speech basically like, no, 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 the great God is here and he'll, he'll help us. And that was the moment that the, um, uh, the cult decided to use to attack. Yeah. And there was a whole big kerfuffle in the, um, courtyard that you were giving a speech in, but then in general, like that, that God demon thing showed up and you had to kill that guy. And, and yeah. basically they use this opportunity to like, yeah, ma make the city go into a riot. And, and part of part of that is because the, um, uh, like a, a, uh, a, a dark shadowing appeared over everything. And like, right. Every, everything is harder like all faith magic and stuff is harder right now because of this like dark shadow that's all over everything um yeah. but could we could we see the map i want to i'm just trying to figure yeah. out what i'm going to tell him to do sure um because okay so yeah, a couple so... a couple of points points of interest you guys are right here right now um yeah. we're in the wharf district um you were protecting you like your your wife and yeah. child are like over here in the grand temple on the island there uh, this is the palace where Sergio was. Um, the noble estates are over here. Uh, you were giving the speech over here and like cross the water over the river right. to get over here. Um, most of the rest of the city, I think like the noble quarter, as far as I can tell, has been like all of this is under your guys' control. But okay. most of the rest of the city is in chaos still, especially I would say the, the biggest problem is everything over here. Right. Okay. Um, and this is where the, where, um, Oh gosh, that's the, that's the guys, university. Right? No, oh, no, no. Um, yep, yeah, that's the university. I know it looks like a. It, it really shouldn't be. Uh, yeah. um, There's a coliseum this, that he's at. So yeah, this is the coliseum. Oh, I know it doesn't look like a coliseum, but this is what I decided. Okay, what, what gotcha. It was. All right. He has. He has taken control of the coliseum. Yeah. So yeah. I, uh, okay. Let me see. The Taconi have mustered some samurai to aid us, and uh, the majority of the. Uh, dissidents appear to be in the southern part of the city here we were going to drive towards the coliseum so you don't need to worry about that uh necessarily i would man the walls regain control of the of the defenses and then push out um just break as many of these dissidents as we can until they lose heart uh, and uh we we're going to go cut off the head of the snake hopefully that will help in the meantime, just don't lose ground. And if you get an opportunity, push back out into the city. Yeah, that sounds like a really calm explanation of the situation at hand. Um, yeah. What do we think that is task wise here? Uh, I mean, uh, unless it's command, uh, I'm probably not going to have much luck. <laughs> it sounds like persuasion to me. Like you're just, you're just like, here's what you do. And you're being very calm about it. But it's not like you're not inspiring him with a speech. You're not intimidating him or giving him ugly truth. Um, I guess I was command. thinking command because I'm not like saying this is what's best for you. I'm just telling him what to do. But that's I, true. But he's also the king. Sure. Um, I mean, command doesn't necessarily imply that you actually have authority over them, right? You can just tell them what mm -hmm. to do and they can ignore you. <laughs> I assumed, right? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's play out the conversation slightly more sure. er, because I think there'll have to be a moment where you like give him an order properly, right? Sure. Um He says... Uh, I don't even with the Taconia, the the city, as far as I can tell, is overrun with demon demon possessed people. How how do I fight something like that? That's that's what you do. Well, like I said, I can only be in one place at a time. And meanwhile, the rest of the city's on fire. I understand that it's dangerous, but the bodies that they're inhabiting are still mortal. Just be careful. <laughs> If you're not sure what you can do, then just man the defenses and don't let them through here anymore. We have to keep these places safe because we have them now. We can't lose any more ground. If uh, if you don't think you can push out, then I will 
hope that dealing with the demon in charge is enough. Okay, go ahead and make the roll, and I think how this goes will determine a lot about like the the way the scene ends here. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and find him again. Valerio Rawl, King of Saran. He has a will of five. Uh, we'll go ahead and bump that up by one, given the, the like shell shock nature of him right now. Um, so I think six. that would make him easier to. No, to he's he's command. he's um he's freezing, right? He's overwhelmed and freezing. Like he's he's not. He's right, I, guess I, figured, I guess he doesn't want to make a decision. I figured having someone make a decision for him would and that, be that will wants. be what happens if you succeed. But I think it will be harder to break through his like non responsiveness. Okay. Yeah, I'm six. I think we're looking at. All right. Well, I, I, that's basically impossible. But all right. Um, well, you have a command of six, and I assume you can have some things to fork in. You also have a call on for this now. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. So right, um, don't. I think I have anything. Uh, persuasion, I think, is definitely a four. Oh, okay, yeah. And you could uh, uh, fork in. Uh, we could fork in ugly truth. You're not. Um, okay. You're not doing an ugly truth, but it's definitely sure. a, a factor here. Uh, outnumbered wise. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't sound like you were like giving him a rousing speech at all or intimidating. No. Him, so. Oh, that was a bad. I think so. All right, you can reroll one, two, three, four, five dice with your call on. Yeah. So, so you, you tell me. I, I think he he's he's like very non-responsive at this point. He's starting to like break into himself. How how does uh, Delon like? Because I assume you use your booming voice at this point to be like, sure, like, yeah, <laughs> your Majesty, <laughs> like get under control, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, see, I, I grab his, uh, I, I grab his shoulder, and be, you are the king now. We just separated the church from your authority. If you want to be worthy of that authority, you have to show it. If you're weak now, people are going to think you didn't deserve to get it. Cool. All right. Reroll those dice. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many did you say it was? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Eight. Nice. Right on the money. Cool. Just everything you needed. Nice. Sweet. Yep. So, so you say that, and um, I think uh, he 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 notices that there. I mean, there are other people around too, right? Like the, right. the priest and like the, the, some soldiers, and they were looking to you and <laughs> like are ready. They seem ready to follow your orders, right? Um, mm -hmm. But the king and the king looks around and sees like the people like responding to you, and then he like shakes himself out of it and he says, "Yes, yes, of uh, of course." Um, and he stands up and like looks at his you know healed arm from the uh, the priest, and he says men to me uh, you know and, and then like start saving orders you, you seem to have gotten through them through sweet. sweet uh did you so yeah i think you've you've told him everything you needed to tell him um <clears throat> yeah, anything else Della needed to say to anyone i don't think so yeah i think he's just gonna try and find the others and and start start making his way towards the columns. you're leaving your horse here i assume yeah yeah, I think so. It's probably not gonna. You're not gonna be. It's not gonna be long before you're gonna have to get off your horse again if you try to yeah. ride him. And the others don't have a horse, so I don't know that there's a lot of point. Like I, they, they, I can't just ride because they won't keep up, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. So let's let's cut over to Cantarius. Um, yeah, Cantarius, what would you be doing? Um, when your uncle finds you, or would you have found your uncle? Uh, just to be clear, I thought we were all together. You are all together. Uh, In the same oh, area. okay. You see the same general area. Dylan just went over to talk to the king. Um, oh, I see. Okay. It's not like you're all moving um, as a group, per se. But. I'm fine with him coming to find me. I think we established that Cantaris did not care. Yeah. He was more concerned with... Yeah, and this will be a brief conversation. Uh, oh, no. I, yeah, I'm not saying we shouldn't have the conversation. I mean, that he would he would come to him because Cantaris is very distracted. He's not... Different mind space, yeah. yeah well, what do we see from Cantarius? In family reunion, all things, especially considering how family reunions usually go for him. <laughs> yeah, very true. Um, what what, do we, what does it look like when we see Cantarius? Like, what is he doing uh, waiting for Delon to, like, talk with the king and whatnot? Um, 
uh, I, I guess we could get a moment of him just like, um, like you know, like he, he he normally is having that like wet raspy cough, and maybe he's like coughing, but it's like it's dry, and he's like, hmm. yeah, like it's like you've cleared everything out, yeah, yeah, starting to feel better, and uh, he he probably is, um, like maybe looking at Theo, like still amazed that he's like alive and like glowing, or is he glowing? Is he? He's yeah, right. he has an aura of holiness. Yeah, yeah. So he's just like emanating holy this is light. Gonna, yeah. it, he he probably says under his breath, "This is going to take some getting used to." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I think we see uh, Theo. Room, we see Theo um, looking around for Asia, right? Like he's looking through the crowd. Like is Asia here, sort of thing. <laughs> um, he's under a bench. Asia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, I think we see uh, maybe just a, a, a close shot of. Um, uh, you haven't noticed it yet, but we see like a, as you like kind of adjust your like shirt and hood, uh, we see like a black vein around your collarbone. That's like slowly reaching up, but you haven't noticed it yet. Right. Like you're just kind of like adjusting your clothing and, uh, your uncle walks over and he seems tired. Uh, again, he's like an older man. Um, he has magic and he was like firebending basically like a Iroh style, uh, during this conflict at the head of the samurai. Um, but he definitely seems like out of it. And, uh, he, he walks over to you and like sits on whatever like be- a crate or whatever you're near, uh, you're near nearest to maybe the one you're, you've sat down on or whatever. And uh, he he says, uh, um, "Do not worry, nephew. We will save your city together." Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if like he's suspicious of him at all, which. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not suspicious of him as a player, but like, mm-hmm. how does he respond to this? Cause he's like, after, after everything he's been through, um, <laughs> he's like, this does not matter to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I let it. It doesn't matter to him. We're just like, why are you talking to me? Yeah. Why do you care <laughs> about me? Um, I'm an, I'm a pure must, incarnation of demon something. magic at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Uh, I don't know. I think he 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 maybe just stays silent. I don't even know what he he just he's like even just the way that he's like my city. He's like I don't. This is not my city. I don't not like mm. this city. Uh, yeah. I think he just grunts like, okay. Yeah, he says. Um, I think the gods may be with us after all. He glances up at Theo. Yeah. Um. Maybe the gods are the people we found along the way. No. Um, <laughs> the, God, the, the real gods are the friends we made along the way. The real he, I think, pantheon. I think, oh, think he. I, I think he smiles and he and he says, "Um, yes, maybe they are." What is next for you, nephew? You are taking the fight to these demons I hear about. Yes. I'm going to kill Faustus. It is still hard to believe that he is the ringleader of this all. Um, not to me. Uh, when I knew him, he was simply the leader of the guilds. He seemed an uh, honest man. Um, yeah, uh, Demons seem to like inhabiting honest men. He frowns at that. <laughs> uh, he says, um, hmm. I'm going to check his character sheet right, real quick. If he has like, if he had like aura <laughs> reading, he would like use it on you right now. So I'm, I'm wondering if there's anything really he could do. Where is his character sheet? Kinda dusky. He has meditation. It's actually pronounced Tsuki. Just kidding. Don't you don't you dare. <laughs> uh yeah. He has lots of fun skills, but I don't think he has anything to 
read your mind right now. It's fine. Oh, he has faith. Forgot about that. Um. Yeah. Does he you know does what? he bow down and worship Theo? No, I think he he starts like I think it's one of those things where like y- you both feel like the conversation has ended for now, but you're like st- sitting next to each other, and y- he just kind of leans down and starts like like muttering a prayer under his breath and you, you just think he's like praying like gods please help us continue to help us sort of a thing but he what he's actually doing is he's trying to um uh ask what to do next in in reference to you of the gods mm. he's like give me some guidance like he seems troubled right but i don't know what's going on sure we'll see how that goes uh ooh, that's close uh he'll he'll spend one fate to rule that field day nope <laughs> so yeah he f- he feels like it's uh, just beyond his reach. Um, so we see, hear him praying, and eventually he he gets no answer. Does he get struck stops. by lightning? <laughs> no. Eventually he gets no answer. Stops his prayers, and uh, he he's he smiles softly to himself, kind of a sad smile. He says, "It seems as if the god gods are busy, but I suppose that is. Uh, but it's a, but I suppose we all are now, aren't we?" Um. He, I think I think Kentari stands up at that and he says, "Yes." At least until this is all over, then we will have to catch up, you and I. Um, if there's still time for that, yes. He frowns. Why would there not he, be? He he puts out a hand to shake it. Or like just like a maybe maybe there's a different maybe he bows to him I don't know his mm. Japanese culture yeah I think it would be he, bow yeah he he bows to him and and says um I wish you well uncle he stands up slowly and you know, his old man bones creaking and he says uh Ugh. if I I can hear that <laughs> no but like he before. he like grunts right like he's like Ugh, like I'm yeah. old right yeah. Uh, he 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 looks at you with a troubled expression, and he says, "If I did not know any better, I would think you are saying goodbye." Look around, Uncle. The demons have brought hell down to earth. If we make it out, we'll catch up. And if not, I'll see you in the next life. And I, I don't even know if Cantarius believes there's a next life. But he's just saying that because yeah. you know his uncle, you know his, his uncle does. Yep. He's just like, all right, let's go. Yep. And I think. Uh, hmm. And then yeah. And then I say. He bows. And then I say, uh, Uncle, you really need to work out. Look at what you've become. And then he takes off his shirt. And he's just like ripped. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he uh, he bows to you. Um, but yeah, he just seems, he seems troubled. He seems cool. troubled. He seems troubled. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Whether or not like anything happens with your uncle there, I think that was good to just so Cantarius' mindset about like, he doesn't yeah. think he's going to make it out of this. Yep. And he does also doesn't think that there's an afterlife either. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I, he's, he's, a, I guess he's got the no jury, reason to think the jury's out after the church has done everything it's done. and. Yeah, I don't know. Demons are a pretty good indicator, though. Um, yeah, so o- he, only, he, only hell exists, not heaven. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, Rough. Uh, yeah, he he also said bring hell down to earth, not up. Because yeah. no, that's, that's correct. where he's been going. <laughs> yep. Yeah. In, in this world, that's where hell is. It's it's a cloud yeah. above the world. Yeah. All right. So he he goes over to Theo, and um uh. What, what have yeah he he I guess he he like puts a hand on his shoulder I think he's like uncomfortable about it because he's like glowing he's like is this gonna hurt me um and says um, well, you don't have any of those you. traits yet so you're fine uh he says yeah, yeah. but I, I, uh he's wearing a garlic he's put he put on some garlic um he says uh. To Faustus, then? Uh, and Theo, says, I assume you're still trying to find Achia, right? Yeah, he's like... Not yet. In a moment. 
Or, and or, let's, let's go ahead and make that roll, right? Um, does Theo have a relationship with Aegea in the game, or does he? He like, does, but I don't. Th- I don't think he can just like. I think I have to make a circles roll. Uh, no, no, no. You have a. Oh yeah, it's in your circles. You're working on getting a relationship with her. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's make that that test. That's there's what. Not, that yeah. Is, right? There's not a uh like a statistical relationship according to this, but. Yeah, you are working on getting one. I can't control with, her yet. <laughs> We're like, are we still over by like the dock? You're you're in the wharf district. Yep, over here. Mm-hmm. Or over okay. where? Where are you pinging? Over here Under by the where? dock. Over or, here. Over over there. Oh, those are also docks. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's where yeah. I thought we were. I, but then he's really dock. bad circles rules. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, I can't up, draw uh, a circle to save my life. <laughs> I'm bringing up uh, circles tests here. Yeah, I only have a three. <laughs> Uh, you you share religious life paths with her. I don't know if you share the exact same mm-hmm. one though. Let me check. She has. Do I get uh, any advantages for like because people are like, "Hey, Aunt, do you know where Asia is?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, Theo, what's up? She's over there." You know. Because um, they know I don't think I so. Am. It's like the last time we saw her, she was running from the Colosseum. So if she made her way over here somehow, that's that's unlikely. Okay. So that's fair. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a circles test. Um, I think it's going to be ob four. Oh, oh, can I make a faith roll first to like guide me? Um, I feel like he's he's feeling like I'm not going to find her. How, I can think he, we should make the circles roll. Clairvoyance? You mean you might be able to? I think we should make the circles roll first, and then from there, if you can't find her oh, yeah, by yeah, normal okay. means, then maybe you do faith, right? Would Theo even pray? Yeah, I mean, she. she I this point t- what do you mean? Well, I just mean like. What do you mean? Why? I don't know. Mean? Where did you leave off? I, didn't you leave off with the gods that you were like challenging their authority? Well, he's praying to the great god now. Remember? Oh, that's right. Duh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. It, My character is agnostic. I don't know. It's. <laughs> <laughs> it's also understandable like because gods or something. <laughs> It's also understandable because Theo's like changed religions like five times at this point. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, so Theo, I think it's going to be an ob five circles test. Um, mm-hmm. it's it's unlikely, and it's like in the middle of trouble. Yeah, like or not in the middle of trouble, but still, uh, I think ob five is going to be like to just for her to be here randomly uh, is going to be ob five. But you can it's... probably find her with faith. All right, I'll just what are the odds? Uh, you can add your man of ten thousand lives though. Oh, it's like a. Oh yeah, we should get rid of Trader of the Gods re- from reputation there. Yeah, you can add that one die reputation. Mm, I kind of want to spend a persona now. What are the odds that I succeed? Probably not very high. Uh, yeah. I mean, if with five against five, not very high. Nah. But you have a call on that you could use for this because you can use it for anything. Oh my god! No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was not good. You can make a uh, mark that. Oh, you didn't need that challenging. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, well, I get, I oh, guess you yeah. yeah, I guess you did. I need one. Um, you need one more routine test. Go find a random, I don't know, peasant. No, uh, I need a difficult. Too. No, you you need a, and or for those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you failed uh, the circles test. She is not here randomly, uh, but now you could, yeah, make a faith test to try to search her out. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm praying. I'm praying that, like, I would just know where she is. Basically, like, I just need to, like, because, you know, if I, if I die, then I'm like, well, I never said goodbye because I've just died again. But if I live, then she's going to be really mad. Like, why didn't you come see me first? <laughs> right. Um, so it's, it's going to be an ob seven faith test if you just want to know the answer. Um, ob five, if it's like, here's the direction to go to find her. Um, coming to seven. I do need to spend some faith, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight, um, well, you don't need to. You you literally spent as much as you could possibly spend in the entire. Well, I guess if I spend my deeds now, doesn't it la- doesn't it last like for the scene or like for the? Yes, for the scene, your faith will be. But the, I, this is not the scene to spend it on because the scene is finding Achia. Not. It, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, it, yeah. It depends on what test you might want to get. Uh, right now, I have a G uh, G eight. Um, I don't believe a five is going to give you anything. Uh, nope, it's it would be a routine test for you. So I would go for the seven if you want to try to get a test, or five if you would like to actually succeed. 
Either way, I mean, you have a good chance of succeeding. Even, you know, faith is gratiated and open-ended. Let's go. There you go. Nice. Yeah. All right. Mark that difficult test. Oh my gosh. He's, <laughs> he's like, continues to be so close to faithing out of the game. Um, okay, cool. So you get the answer. Um, I don't know. I haven't actually thought about this exactly. Um, where did Achia go? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! He succeeded the role. Yeah, you I know. That's that's. Yep. <laughs> um, she she went from the Colosseum. She escaped the Colosseum and would likely have headed in this direction, but it's possible that like, I don't know. We could have her in danger over here, right? And you got to go save her. We can have her have made her way to the places over here, the noble states and stuff, where like you guys have under your control now and like, are safe. And in which case, Theo could be like, okay, she's safe now. I don't actually need to go find her. We can just go attack Faustus. Whoa, can I like astral project myself to her? That, uh, that would be a different wait, faith test. Wait, where's but... Alphonse? Where's Alphonse? Uh, Alphonse is uh, around here hurting. somewhere, I assume. I'm chilling. Could I get him to teleport me there? Uh, you could. I, could I, I, don't, I haven't decided try. where she is. Is it too well, far? Well, 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 we haven't decided where she is yet. I was just giving possibilities. What seems the most interesting to people? Uh, should we have it be like she's in danger in the part of the city you need to go to anyway, and let's go save her? And or no, I think we... it should be like she because I told her like be safe, and I think so she just runs back into danger. I'm like, oh my goodness. We also well, have to have... Yeah. deal with that. Like we'd have to send her somewhere safe because we're not going to bring her to Faustus with us. So that yes. might be kind of yeah, yeah. And I, I think that I, I, I think it'd just be like easier if I could get, um. If I if successfully, if I could get Alphonse to just teleport me there, because then it would save the time of me like running there. Because like I don't want to like spend a bunch of time, but I still want to do it. And so if we could just be like, hey, can you like uh, teleport me just over there and teleport me back? Uh yeah, sure. So we can say that she is um has made it maybe to the monastery or something, some some other safe place over in this direction. Okay. Yeah, you know she's safe. You go over to Alphonse. You ask, hey, <laughs> teleport, help a brother out. Uh, That'd be a whole thing. So up to you, uh, Alphonse. Hey, always find a reason to use my powers. That's true. Do I need? Uh, I don't. I, I can't remember what your what your level is. Oh, how how likely is this to happen without faith? Um, Caleb, what's the odd? That is a good question. Probably like an eight or something. Uh this is an arcane action. Uh, I need to find this magic hand out again. He's like, I, you know, if I know where she is, I'll just tell him, hey, go go near here, and and then I'll, like, find her from there, which it shouldn't be too hard, I guess, if I knew if I knew where she is. I just need to get in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so it'd be uh, ar arcane action. Overcome the material world. Uh, maybe that's not right. Uh, yeah, I think it would be. Um, trying to think of what the test would be. This is always a weird thing about travel. Oh, I wonder if they're. Can I just fast travel? <laughs> you, that's what you're doing. It's just how yeah. what the test is exactly. Just a to fast travel. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but um, I always I always get slightly thrown for how to do long distance what's, what's teleportation. Your, what's your ability to teleport, Alphonse? Here we go. Um, it's seven, but I get auto plus two, so nine. Wow. <clears throat> is it just plus black shaded? Huh? Is it black shaded or is it gray shaded? It's, it's black, unfortunately. But you, if um, we, I mean, if we wanted to like min max this roll, I've got a bunch of other stuff I can do. We, we let's say ob six. That's that's why I, th I figured something like that. Okay, we should probably min max the roll then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be, be bad to like flub this <laughs> role. On the Can you? I can't, I can't tell. What 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 is the actual attribute or skill or the magic skill discipline. that he's using? Spatial discipline. Oh, okay. I can't you, help him. You could do faith to give me a bonus. Bonus dice. I think. Yeah. Um, Keep in mind that all every time you do one of these faith rolls and stuff, and this is taking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just roll it. Uh, yeah, if you want to do want to do faith, you could do. Um, the way it works is, I think you have to do. Uh, 
Um, Uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, op three. No, uh, you, do you have believer? Yes. Actually, wait, does Jared have believer? No. Uh, yeah, op three. Theo. For base? Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just casually get 10 successes. <laughs> <laughs> On an op three, man, you could have got a miracle. <laughs> You could have teleported <laughs> yourself there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I just knew Alpha. He probably would have. He probably would have been like, "I'm not going to sidestep I or Alphonse if he could just do it." Yeah. So well, I get a plus. What from the? Uh, just one die. I'm I'm looking at the faith again, and it does seem like the only thing he can give to another person is one die, not multiple. Oh, okay. No, what was the ob six you said? Yep, ob six. Yep. Oh, wow. So many <laughs> ones. That was really bad. Oh my gosh. Do you want to use heck? your call on for this? <laughs> oh man. No sixes either. I yeah. Guess it, it wouldn't it matter. matter. Anyway. I mean, what's gonna happen if I don't use my call? I mean, on? are you really gonna teleport out of the Coliseum or something? Or I, don't... I think this would mean that Alphonse can tell he for whatever reason it's not gonna be a good idea and he stops. Right, he he just says we can't do it right now. Um, like either I don't uh, have enough energy, or I'll, I'll I'll do it. Call on. Yeah, me as well. All right, let's let's double check that you, you didn't get any sixes, so this should all be correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dice that you're rerolling. I'll go ahead Let's and do it with with the the fate bubble be. thing, the the fate yeah. thing, because it's going to reroll automatically the sixes. So, so remaining up to dice nine. Let's hope I don't become the new Connor. All right. Nice. I, I was close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. So so that happens just fine. And I think this means you can get there and back. Um, so Theo, uh, you appear in uh the monastery or whatever where she's like taking shelter. Um, you see her like walking around, like helping people who have been injured, uh, comforting them and, and giving them like food and stuff. Um and when she sees you, she does the classic like drop the tray of food she was holding thing. Yeah, and then and I think I think we just kind of like stare at each other for a second. We stop, and there's like yeah. a moment of awkward like silence. And then she smiles really widely, and she says, "I I knew there was something special about you, Theo." She takes a couple of steps towards you, like kind of reaching out a hand, like I step back. No, she goes, <laughs> "Whoa, whoa, what are you doing?" <laughs> no. Kind of reaching towards. I, you. I think I think, I think uh, they hug, and he says, "Forgive me." For what? Oh, for dying. Uh, <laughs> no, for uh, he's like uh, for doing what I needed to do. She uh, kind of pushes away and, and grabs her face in, in her hands, and she says, "Never ask for, uh, never apologize for doing what you need to do, Adam or Theo." <laughs> Whoa, this is weird. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wow, <laughs> this just got weird because now now it's me talking to you. <laughs> One thing we did on uh um in that uh that R RPG or the what is that, what is that was the game fiasco remember when he says the name by or, or he says her name <laughs> okay, right 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 yeah uh yeah she says never apologize for doing what you need to do Theo and she kisses you and then as you as she pulls away from the kiss she says that's what I love most about you yeah I wrote something down um. I think he just says, like, I have to fight him. Yeah. She uh, kind of cradles, again, like, cuddles against your chest to kind of, like, puts her, yeah, lets you, lets you hold her, right? Yeah. And uh, she says, <laughs> Where's Alphonse during this? <laughs> he just, just, He's uh, just I, I'm just, I'm just uh, like <laughs> awkwardly standing in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're ignoring you. Uh, she says, um, "I know." Please, I would say to be safe, but 
I don't think that's what's important right now. I think he, he, he grabs her face and like points it at him, like to look him in the, in the eye. And he's like, I need you to be safe. Promise me I, that. I will. I've done everything I can here. The rest is up to you. And that gives me so much hope. Because for once, the world isn't, the, the fate of the world isn't up to me. And I, th I think he, he gets, he, he steps back and he gets down on his knee, not proposing. Um, <laughs> he, he just kind of like, he like bows his head, like with her hand. And he's yeah, like, yeah. Like his will. May the one true God bind us together forever. And then he, and then he stands back up. And that wasn't a proposal. It sounds know? like a proposal to me. <laughs> well, okay. I don't know how it works in this culture. I don't like, is it like the same as our culture? I don't know. Uh, I, we know I, that I there know. are. I, I we, think, okay. I actually was thinking like, that was kind of like an implication. Like, Hey, you know, if I'm still alive, it, it was like a, you're not actually proposing. A it's like, a, not yeah. A promise like, of hey, a you know, his will, you know, we'll stay together. And then he stands up and he grabs her, grabs her hand and he puts it like on his chest. And he's like, um, this heart beats to the tune of yours. And then, uh, uh, and then he like, um, it'd actually be a rhythm, but whatever. <laughs> Beats don't have tunes. And then know. he like, like, he like, I don't want to say Fredo kisses her, but he's, he like, he like quickly kisses her and then like, mm -hmm. like run, runs off to, uh, Alphonse. And like, like, I'm going kind of thing. Yeah. And then, and then he says, Besides, Alphonse will keep me safe, like jokingly, like she Alphonse chuckles me. nervously. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I went and I'll be like, sorry, I'll try not to teleport us to hell. <laughs> he jumps into Alphonse's arms. <laughs> uh cool. Yeah. Um, one thing I just uh. remembered that I planned on doing at the beginning of the session, but uh totally forgot about. Uh, I do want to, at, at some point, get a flashback with your wife in heaven, um, with Kylia. Um, you tell me, though, when you think the most dramatic moment to have that scene happen is, that flashback. Oh. Um, should it be now, or should we wait for like a suitably dramatic moment? I think it should be a dramatic moment. I think it's okay. going to be like, the mo yeah, yeah, I, I don't think this is the moment. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out for that moment and maybe flash back when we when we can. All right, sounds good. So uh, teleport back and and the teleport back is just um, in the same role there. That'll be fine. Um, and now I think it's time to head towards Faustus. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So what do we see here? You guys just hike up the road, hike up the burning street towards. Where you think he is? Where are you actually heading? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I assume we'll just take... Just walk out of the gate this way? Yeah, towards the... Towards the Iode. Mm -hmm. um, Theo's aura of holiness is definitely keeping some of these things back at in general like uh, there's like random demon possessed people and demon influenced people who are and just cult members who aren't demon and uh, influenced yeah. at all uh who just are shying away from you there's like a bubble of <laughs> don't nice. mess with us uh involved here um but yeah we see the four of you uh yeah hike out of the the gate through the gate and into the guild hall district um which is i mean honestly that's probably the first place okay here here's the question do you go Straight to the Guildhall district, where he originally had all of his base stuff, or do you head straight to the Coliseum where he was last seen? What was the first one? The Guildhall district is right here, which is like right outside where you just were. Um, that is where you knew that he had his base originally. So, I feel like I feel like if it was Faustus, he he knows we're coming, and so he'd be in the Coliseum. Head there. He wants a show. It's like uh, <laughs> he wants his name. It's shining like. <laughs> like I mean, uh, to be fair, Theo, you could also just make a faith roll to find out where he is for sure. Uh, does everyone want me to do that, or do we just want to go? Up to you guys. I'm. I'm asking you. How do you approach all of this? Maybe we're all like debating on whether or not, and then Theo's like over there praying, and he's like, 
He's in the Coliseum. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. J- Jared Alphonse knows that Sergio went towards this district because that's where he thinks Elon is. Mm-hmm. Elon Musk there? Elon Musk? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I am so surprised that it took us until episode 72 to make that joke. That joke has never been made. I don't know. Nope. I feel like I've made that Almost joke. positive. I, I have thought that literally every time his name is ever you, you may said. have thought it, but I am almost positive it has never been said out loud a single time in this whole campaign. I you can check you can fact check me on this. I mean, but I'm I not kept going to, waiting for but... it and it didn't happen. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go through five hundred hours of footage to find the, yeah. <laughs> the one. My I first think. thought when you said that was man, we've made that joke so much. Nope. At I the very least, it's been made like twice. I don't know, man. I was thinking like, uh, it's probably making just a dumb joke that we've made so many times. <laughs> I think we've all fought it, but it has not been said. Interesting. All right, I'll make a faith roll. All right. Is a straight answer. Rebellion. Like, you get, tell me where Faustus is. Yeah. Six. Seven. Uh, ob seven. Watch, I'll fail this one. It's like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was that was terrible. <laughs> it was really bad. Wow. You can spend one fate to reroll one failed dice. Technically, though, you do have clairvoyant, and it does say any ability, not any skill. So you could use it for faith. As a call on. I'll, I'll double check, but I'm almost positive that's what it, that's what it, it's saying there. Wait, wait, wait. You you think it's his ability? Because I thought it said skill. Uh, where's this trait? It says skill. clairvoyant. Oh, one skill. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. That would be awesome. Uh, I mean, lucky is any ability. That's what it is. Oh, dang. But that could only be used once per adventure. So, oh, OK, this, this is definitely more helpful. Yeah. Um. Yeah. OK. I, I mean, no, 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 wait, OK. Do I if I reroll? It's how do I grace? Oh, I gray shade fate when I do it, right? If I reroll. Oh, yeah, you gray shade the fate thing. Yep. You can only spend one fate to do reroll one failed dice but wow okay no no hey uh, you still you even got a six but uh, yeah i'm gonna say like faustus is like blocking me or something i i think that's what it is right like there, there's obviously demon magic you're in the darkest hour oh i should have been giving you penalties to all of these um uh, okay from now I on I'm, i think i've succeeded in all of them though yeah, anyways, rem- just... yes yeah remember from now on <laughs> Yeah, I was at Black uh, The darkest hour is still happening. You guys all get penalties to this. Oh, hold on, hold on. Six and oh, I only got two anyways. This should have been gratiated though, but yeah, I don't think it's actually mattered. It wouldn't matter up to no. now. Uh, well, actually, I think your your role with to find Achia before would have mattered. And about faith or for luck. Uh, no, because it was a, yeah, it, it's it's great. No, it was it no, was no, an eight. No. So the darkest no, 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 hour. No, 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 no. That, that's what I'm saying. Um, you get all penalties because it's the darkest hour to faith and any magic that's tied to the great god. Yeah, but uh, it would have been one though, right? I think it. I think I said two last time. So that 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 roll from HEO for HEO would have been. I, I'm fine just leaving it as it is. I'm, I don't want to retcon anything. Yes. Um, but but keep in mind, yeah, I think it's it's at op two right now. Uh, plus put plus two op to anything you're doing, um, until the the hour of reckoning arrives. Right, and the the clouds are lifted. Uh cool. So, uh, you do not know where Faustus is specifically. Um, yeah, the demon magic is keeping you from learning the secret. Um, so where would you head on instinct? Honestly. Alphonse. I am going to guess. <laughs> you do have the lucky trait. Is there anything that's not affected by the darkest hour? Like can't be? Uh it is so the, the things that are affected by the darkest hour are anything that is tied to the great god. Any magic that is tied to the great god. Really so faith. <laughs> uh, well, no, it's faith. It's all of you pretty much, except for Cantorius. Uh his all of his magic works exactly the same way, but David's, Jared's, and Adam's are all plus two up. Because you're all tied to the great god at this point. Now okay, uh, can do some work. Let's go. Am I supposed to have a map? <laughs> uh, a map yeah, there should be should be a map here. I just, I'm up oh, there. I decided to reload. So you guys are like going out of the gate here, uh, and the, really the two. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so the, the Guildhall District is right here. 
Um, the Colosseum is over here. Those are the main two places where you could guess that Faustus is. So uh, let, let's double check real quick what the trait we're says. close to the headquarters area, right? Can we just you check are. and then... Yeah, you, you just go there first just to check, right? Um, lo- the lucky trait says... If the player makes a random in-game guess via roleplay, the guess is always right, so long as the player isn't aware the guess is right. We don't know. So uh, we, this is your chance. Do not know. We just need to see Alphonse in roleplay make this guess. Yeah, Alphonse heroically like finds a broom and he, like he lifts it up and then he drops it and then it falls in one direction. I'm like, he's this way. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone question this? I mean, it's Alphonse. Uh, no, <laughs> we we knew where he was when he killed Theo. So, I, yeah, how long ago was that technically? I mean, that was, was a while ago. A hours it ago. Was hours it ago. That, yeah. So, I mean, like the assumption is he's probably. <clears throat> I mean, he was like holed up there. He didn't look like he was. I mean, not that we knew that, but Theo does. He didn't look like he was going anywhere. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, it's more is risky that, is that the direction the broom fell, Caleb? Uh, the broom fell uh, towards the Colosseum to north, north, uh, west. And then, yeah, then I'm, then I'm down for that. Go follow your broom. Is it? Is that where? That's where Theo died, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You, you guys, you can only use that once, right? No, no, no. The 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 in-game guess thing is just whenever he makes an in-game guess via role play where he doesn't know the answer to it yeah oh there, the there's th- oh. there's three separate parts to that um it's really crazy that's crazy yeah <laughs> i think it t- normally like you can't get that trait in like can't buy that trait it doesn't have a die like a, a trait cost mm. listing um it, you can get it through a trait vote or through like one particular slave life path <laughs> that's it that's pretty unlucky though <laughs> well it, it's it's the fact that the, the life path is uh, bondsman where you have you're like apprenticed to like a person who has so basically it's like the luckiest version of slave I think is the idea <laughs> oh, anyways it's funny uh, yeah so Alphonse does that, seriously no one questions the fact that he just like threw a broom up in the air and then it landed northwest I mean and then you just... I would question it except it's pointing in the direction that I thought we were going to need to go anyways so I was like I love the idea that's that, like, the direction we were going and so you Alphonse thinks that like everyone is just accepting him and, and they were you've already were moving in that direction before he even threw the broom in the air <laughs> right? yeah, yeah I'm like, like ah, you just knew where we were going and threw the broom like, <laughs> yeah funny trick Alphonse with the city's on fire so haha uh-huh, but let's move on the walks on down he's like i believed you this is my new this is my new spell this <laughs> <laughs> my new know. spell he says <laughs> okay yeah so we see alphonse trail sheepishly after everyone else and things start to get really dangerous the the further you walk in here um obviously there was like uh, on the outskirts of the control, like the, the areas of the city that you still had under your control, there were people who were testing the edges that are not messing with you. But the the further you get towards the Colosseum and into this part of the city, the more dangerous things seem to get. Um, there are obviously the city is burning, um, but you see people being like mugged and knifed in alleys. Um, you see uh, um, like like people who are not joining the demon cause like their their shops being burned down and their windows being broken like it is definitely like full on scale like riot like do as much damage to the city as possible that's kind of what hap- is happening from the cult side of things like c- terrorism and chaos um how would you be dealing with that or ignoring it i'm curious what what you guys would be doing if anything i i feel like theo would do like you might help one person like you know he sees like a person getting mugged or something he like stops it but then he realizes it's just happening so much and he's like i can't do this uh, you know all of this like he might try at first and then he realizes this is this is gonna be too difficult so i like i could i don't Dylan is the only one who has a belief about this so i'm i am curious if he decides to take a yeah. more firm step on in that direction you could wait until you see something more drastic to, to confront yeah you. i'm just trying to think uh and I'm not saying that this is all happening on the street you're walking down per se, but you are catching glimpses of it in alleys and like blocks over and stuff like that. There is still like a 
a bit of a distance you're being given, but it's like it's starting to close in on you where like you, you feel like if you turn the next corner, there's going to be like a big group of them that are not going to get out of your way. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to think if he stops to like do anything. Uh, I mean, he'd like to, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if we see anything like immediately in front of us, then he's definitely going to just, you know, just go over and like, you know, chop someone's head off and keep walking. But uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that has not happened yet. I think that like okay. any any anything that you see, they quickly run off as soon as they see you coming down the street, right? Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, if it stops when we're nearby, then that's good enough for you. You probably like I think the person that Adam said he he helped like it's probably like a person who just got knifed like ahead of you, and then uh, you guys yeah. like rush forward and like scared the guy off, and then Theo's like he leans down, he's like, "Dang, that guy's dead!" Right? Like <laughs> nothing we can do yeah. for him, and then you move on, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so I think you know we're seeing this slowly build build up in your guys's vision here, uh, and then we 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 can probably say you guys get to uh, probably the edge of this gate, this this next city gate uh, into the mm-hmm. kind of like marketplace, and then into you know there's a in the slum are district we, and stuff. Are we not up. going? We're going this way, right? Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you're right. Sorry. Like you would. You would take. Road. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so when yeah. you turn that that road, I guess we'll say because you're you're heading towards okay. the Guildhall district. You yeah. you definitely can see that. Um, pretty much this entire block here is like bu- built. Like there's walls and stuff that have been built and and erected. Oh, um, okay. It does seem like uh, if we had been seeing it, and we probably would have in the show version of this, been seeing like them uh raise these up from like antonius's perspective like because he's mm. he was infiltrating them at the time um yeah. they were secretly building like barricades and stuff and like a whole fort here of like you know blocking off this part of the city in secret okay. in in ways like using materials that made it look like oh that's just a random piece of trash on the ground but actually when you pull this rope the whole thing comes up and it's a wall right like stuff like that because okay. it's like a bunch right. of craftsmen and stuff that live over here um sure. but now you see it it's like decked out like post-apocalyptic fort sort of <laughs> vibes right <laughs> great okay. um but uh on the edges of it right like you're you know unless you try to storm the wall you're not gonna see inside there um sure. on the edges of it like the market district in here um once you get kind of further down the road this way um you eventually do come across a kind of like open part of the the road where the road kind of like widens out and um I think I'm trying to think of exactly the way this is going. Maybe it's just a scuffle in the streets because you, you, um, I guess you did a speech from the noble quarter. I don't think it's reached anyone here. Like you weren't able to like boom your voice through the whole city or anything. Um, trying to think of like the type of person who would be fighting back from this. Mm-hmm. Um, Market district. Outstanding citizens. It might be like foreigners, uh, right? It might be like um, uh, people from Teco or a new Amhati, for example, like where Theo is originally from some like light blonde haired people. Mm, Um, Maybe it's like a a cadre of like foreign merchants and their guards and stuff who are like taking a stand against uh, the, the hordes of like, uh, demon influenced cultists who are like starting to take try to take over the marketplace at this point um yeah. they're they're in a, an actual fight do you, do you guys join in at that point uh, I think probably. Probably. and they're kind of like yeah. in the middle of the I road mean, they're having this fight right yeah i think so i mean yeah i think uh i don't even know if dylan stops to say like the faster that we deal with this the faster we can move on so i don't know if he's gonna like draw out a plan or anything he's just gonna charging probably i keep thinking uh, there's cars i don't i don't uh, there's not cars i don't like, there are not cars there's yeah. cars on fire in the road you're like wait i'm confused oh. <laughs> there could be like a carriage or two right a wagon or two that's on fire in the road somebody in the animation studio screwed up again uh, <laughs> gandalf's you're... wearing his watch again <laughs> Crap. did you guys hear that in the uh, graphic novel version of white sand the original version there was a boom box in the in the really? <laughs> background on accident on accident. Someone, what, whoever, whatever illustrator wow. wasn't thinking through the setting very much, right? And just drew a boom box in the background. The <laughs> that's so how do you funny? screw up that bad? Yeah. Yeah. How do you, that's funny. They fixed it in the final version, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> they did like an omnibus good, with, good. with all of them in it. That's funny. It's just like a little white splotch. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> just erased it. Fixed. 
<laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, let's do a, a quick bloody versus here. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so Dellen is charging in. Everybody else? Yeah. Jumping in, too? Dellen's sort of the leader. Cantarius, like Alphonse? Uh, I'm debating. I mean, I don't want to disrupt the flow of the game, but I'm debating just being like, no, we should just go kill Faustus. Like, we should. That, we I also was kind of thinking that. Cantarius mm-hmm. just moves on. Yeah, Dellen um, is the only one who has a belief about this. But hey, you guys can get Mold Breaker if you play out the inner turmoil of having to make this decision. Uh, Do you have any instincts or something that, or traits that would like lead you to still help these people against your beliefs? Let's see. You're talking to me? You and Theo, the people I mean, you mentioned no. that they it, don't. It's go after Faustus. And yeah, like, that's where we're at. This, this right, right. What, what I'm saying like, is your your beliefs are go after Faustus. Do you have any instincts or traits that are like help people? <laughs> um, always trust my friends. Never heed danger. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, Dellen is your friend, and this is danger. Yeah, and I'm like, it's not like I'm afraid. I mean, I, I guess he's not afraid he's getting injured. He's more like I'm afraid of wasting time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it is danger. So, I mean, regardless. I, I think I think never trust his friends. He's or, or always sorry, always trust his friend. He's gonna be like, oh man, I, I can't like leave Dellen. Like if Dellen just kind of like spontaneous does it, he's not gonna be like, oh, let's just he's got it. He, he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dellen's not I, gonna I, be like, hey, all of you guys come out, we kill people. He's just gonna be like, all right, well, I'm gonna go do this. And if, if I, I think part of it too is thing. like the line you're you're in the you're able to flank them from this angle too this is actually a good good spot for you to be in uh, to join in the fight because you're like able to flank them and push like yeah. you know push them against the the fighting force um grab a bottle <laughs> yeah, ah. he has a sword it's like it's like in parts of the caribbean like grabs his hat <laughs> uh um, can i fork intimidation into this just just i'm just assembling the thing yeah yeah um i'm looking at the like advantages that it gives here i think you have Longer weapon? Uh, no, you probably have around the same. Yeah, we'll say the same there. Uh, you're not fighting armored opponents in the same way. You can add your full plate dice or whatever you have to the defense, yeah, defense. obviously. Yeah. Uh, you probably have a higher reflexes, right? What's your reflexes? Five, I think. Oh, yeah, then definitely. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, forks from there. Intimidation makes sense. Okay. I think the big challenge here is there are a lot of them. Right. They're probably not going to do a lot of damage to you if they do hit, but uh, there's a lot to wade through here. Um, you can go ahead and take, um, I think, uh, 10 advantage Oops. dice from the guards that are fighting on the merchant side. Yeah. And then, sorry, was, was Theo helping? Uh, I assume so. It sounded like he was. Great. are you helping? Yeah, I, I will. Oh. They both Alphonse. have more than five on their thing. Right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Alphonse, you gonna just, I, was, I leave I was my brawling and watch. Changing a stinky. Oh, uh, I, I we're uh, doing in this fight, and uh, I didn't know if I was finding out if you're helping. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna help. I'm gonna try teleporting him into jail. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> I I guess you could uh, use spatial discipline. Uh, I don't know how you. It doesn't really matter that much. Something base. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I think what Alf, uh, Jared is shooting for is like a a, a, a oh a test. Helping test. Yeah. Um, I guess that's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, well, what's what's the what's the ob? That's like I, I was just being silly, but now now that we're talking about getting tests, uh, the ob will be whatever their their roll is, which I haven't made. Which yet. will probably be a lot because there's a bunch of them. Oh, so, well, yeah. you should you should roll first, and then I'll decide what I help. Well, I just may I have to make sure that David has his pool ready. Okay, I'll help him with something. Yeah, either way, I'm sure you get two dice from Alphonse Dillon. Yeah, go ahead and assemble, assemble your pool, and then I'll roll. That's right. 
Just let me know when you've figured out the numbers in your head. Yeah, least. sorry. I'm good. Okay, uh, I'm ready. This is their attack and their defense. Oops. And for the purposes of advancement, these are two separate tests if at attack and defense against their, like the, the OBS are being uh, compared against yep. those OBS for the test. Um, but you can only take one, one of them. Okay. Hey, here's my attack. Jeez. Oof. They yeah. definitely kill them all. <laughs> yeah. This might. I did that right. It wasn't giving me, right? Because I did greater than three, and I'm always paranoid that it's going to actually use that properly. And only be greater than three, not equal to. But it looks like you did it right. Okay. Anyways, that's defense. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> you you had a lot more dice than I ex thought you did. I had thirty five. Because nice. I, I I had like fifteen for myself, and then you gave me ten from them, and then I got two from all three of the others, uh -huh, and then I got yeah. four from armor. So it yep, added yep. up fast. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I think the way this goes, th there's a song on uh, Gloria Regali. Um, uh, I think it's called Desolation. This is the one that I'm imagining is playing uh, during this uh, time frame. Um, it starts off being a kind of like um, kind of grungy uh, like guitar thing. Um, and so, you know, sort of and we get the, we get the shots of like you guys walking down the street, right? Like as like the absolute com monsters that you guys are and like so intimidating Adam's like, you know, Theo's ho holy aura spreading everywhere. And then it starts to devolve into like more and more dangerous sounding music and a uh, fight. Mm -hmm. What we get here is like, you know, you guys being super cool and like helping these people. There's probably a moment, you know, Dellen, where you, you've just murdered all of them, right? Like they are all very dead, uh, you know, cut, you know, lots of stab wounds everywhere uh, and the bodies littering the ground here. And you, you don't like briefly confer with the, the guards and the merchants. You're like, is everyone all right? Like, you know, like yeah. get to safety and right. you're about to like turn towards the towards the right, right. The work district. district. Right. Yep. He, he, um, uh, Actually, you know what? Let, let's make that roll. I think they're gonna insist on because they're like foreigners and stuff. They're gonna be like, no, 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 no. We're gonna we're gonna hold up here. Um, if if Dellen really thinks that that's safer, then you can make a roll to get them to to move. Um, we won't. I mean, I guess you did say that people were like staying away from us as we were moving, and that probably wouldn't happen for them necessarily. So yeah, maybe it wouldn't be safer. I don't know. Yeah, if they would push, if they push back on that and say like. Uh, no, 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 we're going to hold up here like in our man, ma like our manners and stuff that we mm -hmm. have here. We have guards, you know, uh, would mm -hmm. you, would you not press it at that point? Uh, yeah, he probably is like, well, the wharf district is under the king's control and uh, this area is definitely not. If you can make it there, it'll be safer, but it's up to you. Yeah, you just finished saying that. And I, I'm assuming like Cantarius is like, you know, it's like, all right, guys, let's go. Right? right. And that is when the music starts to change. Uh, it gets a little bit more dark and dangerous. Um, and the bodies begin rising. Okay. Um, it almost looks as if there is a, um, it's kind of like as if some sort of shadowy cloth is draping them. Um, and they're being pulled like puppets to their feet. Um, it's kind of like weird shadowy cloak or clothing is like kind of around them and in them kind of. And then they kind of rise, like their arms are all kind of limp and stuff until, like the sh the shadow starts to like kind of get the body under control, and then all of them have risen from the dead and are facing you again, right. uh, as basic some sort of weird zombie thing. You're not entirely sure what's going on here. Uh, strange. How, can how, I how handle that? Try and find out. Try and try and have an idea what it is. Uh, sure. Yeah. How would you go about doing that? Uh, would doctrine or foreign doctrine work? Um, you could make a doctrine test. It would be very difficult, but yeah, we could we could try okay. it. I don't think I have any forks for it. Let's do. Let's say ob six doctrine. Okay, yeah, <laughs> makes sense that you would try it though. You'd be like yeah. rocking your brain. Like, is there a verse about this? <laughs> <laughs> I need a oh, verse for I this. Just did the wrong. Gave myself six forks instead of an ob six. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, you get a difficult doctrine test. Oh, cool. Probably been a while since you've gotten that. 
Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't have any bubbles in doctrine. <laughs> right now. Yeah. So Dallin, you're racking your brain. This seems very beyond anything you remember from church doctrine. Um, I, I, I'm not entirely sure there is anything in your doctrine about undead at all. I don't think this right. is a thing that happens really. Um, okay. So yeah, this is very weird. Um, Cantarius can make a demonology test to try to figure out what's going on. Uh, that makes sense. If that's something you would like to do, Cantarius. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't have demonology, but you can have uh, intellectual discipline. I think you can proxy it, I think is what we said. Yeah, I can't remember how that worked. Not that it matters. Are we still doing it? Have those been impl implementing the minus two or whatever? Or, or did, uh, this uh, is just a doctrine test, not a... It wasn't a faith roll. He didn't need to make a faith roll. Oh, yeah, it's only, only, for only faith. a faith roll? Oh, I thought it was all skills. It's 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 a, a penalty specifically designed to hinder you, Adam. Yes, exactly. It is, <laughs> it is 100 percent what that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's arcane knowledge. You're using the skill to count as a proxy for an academic skill in the skill list. Uh, so it's intellectual discipline. It is an intellectual discipline role. Let me double check demonology and see what the ob is. Demonology says. Identifying a spirit's powers or abilities. There's definitely something there. Um, let's say five. Is there any breadth or any other penalties here? Oh, where is that? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, let's say ob five uh, intellectual discipline test for you, Antarius. Is it up five? Yep. Okay. Uh, I think it's just straight. I don't think we can work anything into it necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have an, do you have an eight in this. Hmm? You do have an eight in this. Well, yeah, but that, yeah, that means nothing. <laughs> that means nothing. Can he use maybe just one persona? I think. You got nine. You could also spend yeah, your deeds point at some point, and that would you're you're a temporary like gray shade intellectual discipline if you spend that one. Yeah, I've been considering that, but probably not, not for right this now. One, but yeah. yeah, I just realized that you have so many fate and persona in it. Did we ever? Did we ever? Um, did I ever gray shade intimidation? Or brawl? Was it which one was it that I like? You did both. Oh, it's um, brawling. I don't, I don't have. Uh, I need five persona in brawling. So whenever I put another persona into brawling, I can. Uh, I'm pretty sure the threshold. Oh, you might be right. Um, I'll double check that. But yeah, you, you go ahead and decide if you want to spend a persona. Uh, I'm just gonna present. I'm just gonna spend one. See how it goes. Good fail. Good fail. Uh, uh, no, Connor. To do um an Aristea, which is the minor one, you need five fate points, three persona points, and one deeds point. Oh, really? I think you already graciated it. I think we did that. I graciated it last season. At some point, I think you did. Yeah, because I didn't have it. Three persona, as far as I remember. I remember it being five. No, I, I, it's five for. It might be five for the big one, but it's three for the small one, which is the one you got. Well, hopefully I actually use that last use that somewhere. I just forget. I, I can check. I can check. Um, but yeah, go ahead and make that roll. Put fate into this, I suppose. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can spend one fate to reroll one fail dice. Of course. <laughs> so I got, I got no clue, guys. Yeah, no clue there. Do, do you? You don't have a call on for this, right? Oh, well, I do. Yeah, I could. Um. I mean, especially if you think this is pretty important kill, but just use aura of determination. Uh, I'm not sure it counts here. Uh, either a test in which many are helping this character, or a test taken by the group individually against the same source. Uh, that's not what's happening here. It's a group effort. That oh, somebody else can make a roll. I did. I just failed. Yeah. So uh, we, could, we could. I could make us that both of us re roll. Right. Yeah. I, I guess. To yeah. To, fi to figure out what's going on. I, I, okay. Yeah. I guess. Same source. I mean, we, we compare notes. Yeah. 
I mean, me re-rolling isn't going to, I'm not going to get it, but you might. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and then if you guys don't, you someone else can roll <laughs> and re-roll, right? True. Um, yeah. Now, so I did spend Artha in that. I'm assuming I don't re-roll the Artha. Is that correct? Uh, if it, it's a die like any other. Test. Um, the, the thing we have to keep in mind is that that six there does not, which, which re-roll does not count as a die. So it would be the first nine dice that you're looking at. So one, two. Oh, I'm just re-rolling failed dice. That's not a con, right? You're just doing a call. It is a con. Right? That's R of Determination is calling. If that's what he's doing. Oh, okay. Sure. So what is gone? Right. Oh, I, oh, we've gone back and forth from. I feel this, like we, yeah, we talked about this a bunch of times, and I, and I, and I remember. Oh, I don't remember where we landed. We went back and forth on it. <laughs> Did we? This uh, trait allows a reroll during a great group effort, but it's also is, listed as a call yeah. on. I remember you looked up how a call on because I was wondering if it was worded the same way as call on. They called it a reroll. Um. I don't think so, because I mean, how else would you know that you have to reroll only filled dice? I feel like they're more specific about it with call ons, but I don't know. I also remember being wrong. Death. This so. trait acts as a call on for steel. Is that how it's worded differently? Because a call yeah. on allows for a reroll, but a reroll doesn't allow for the same reroll as a call on. Is that really what? Yeah, the that is the difference is? that's being listed here. Problem is, it is a call on trait. So, like, what, what does that mean? Yeah, that is weird. Uh, yeah, I mean, Dreadful says the same thing. Character uses trait as a call on for intimidation. Yeah, usually, I think it, when you're only rerolling field dice, it calls out a call on. Um, we should decide really that right is... now and finalize this ruling. <laughs> well, um, so, so I think just, we did that just, last time. Is there anything else that you use for a call on besides a reroll? The call on allows you to reroll, correct? Oh, oh um, uh, it allow it, you can also break a tie in your favor, technically. If, like, you, there you go. If so, so the aura of determination doesn't break a tie. It just allows you to reroll like a call on wood. That's the distinction. Oh, that probably makes sense. What, yeah. what was the question? What? Well, the um, distinction should so this trait allows a reroll. Everything else says it acts as a call on right. for that skill. But right. a call on can be used for a reroll or to break a tie. So it's saying That's reroll true. like a call on. So but instead you can't what use we should do is tie. look on the rules for call ons and see how it defines a call on. And that's what it defines a call on as is it, it, it's a you can use it to reroll all your failed dice or you can uh, break a tie but, in your favor. But it is a call on trait. So like, what does that yeah. mean? I, I think the, I think Connor's ruling is correct. I think you cannot use it to break ties, but you can reroll as it okay. says there it, at, sure. like a call on would be able to. I, I think that's probably the best interpretation we can we can make. Okay. Uh, so go, okay. go ahead and do that. Connor. So in which um, case? Yeah. Uh, so well, I'm rerolling yeah, the failed dice. Is that correct? Yeah, you're really, really, really in the failed dice, except for I think the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that one does not count because it was that was the six rerolled again. So um, fi- I'm rerolling five failed dice then, plus the eight yeah. rerolled die. No, um, because that's just a reroll. That, that was, that's a, already in that. That's that also a there. failed die. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah it's still a failed sense. die, but it's in that original list. So yeah, five dice. Roll. And you can do it on fate too. You only need one. You got to do better than I did. Uh, exclamation point at the end. Yep. Whoa! Hey. Holy crap! That was so good. You rerolled so many yeah. successes there. All right, cool. Yep. So your R determination is spent. Um, Cantarius, what is happening here is uh, you knew something about uh Targoth's abilities. Um, Targoth is very good at death art, which is a burning wheel skill that allows you to do necromancy. Um, so you had an inkling about this, but um. Not, I think you want this that helps you understand exactly what's going on now that you're looking at it. So what's happening is, uh, they're all they were all um possessed by demons. Probably not in the same sense that like other people are possessed by demons, but there was like a demon riding along with them in a sense. And when they died, the shade kind of became this kind of weird shadowy material, you know, at least translucent, visible thing. Um. And kind of is wearing their body like reverse clothes. Uh, it's mm-hmm. kind of like it, it, it looks like awakening in in like Warbreaker, where like the clothes are moving, but the person isn't right. Like, right. but it's like this weird kind of shadowy. Sh- it's like basically like a shade or a wraith that's like inside it's of them and comes out of them, they're puppeting them. Basically, is what's happening here. Um. So what's what's going to be difficult about this is even if you like kill the body, the the wraith is probably still going to be around. And as long as like there's a piece of the body to remain in the 
to puppet, it'll still probably work just fine. And actually hurting the shade part of it is going to be the difficult part, right? Like something like your white fire is going to have to be used or like a faith roll to make like your sword magical. Normal weapons are not going to work against like actually like destroying these things. So yeah, does does Cantaria say something about that I'm to anyone? To do that at some point. I can only be killed by magic. Well, that's decidedly unfair. <laughs> I kill so we could do magic. We, we could do another bloody verses and have Cantarius lead it with his intellectual discipline and do like the, you know, have really him make the roll. Is that what happens? Is just Cantarius like step forward? Like they can only be hurt by magic and then uh, he steps sure. in front of Delon? <laughs> I suppose right? so. I mean, I don't see a reason to let these guys live. Unless Alphonse has better dice rolls for it, but I, I doubt it. I mean, teleport them to jail sounds like a great idea, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, jail's not going to do What are much. they going to do? What are they going to do? Uh, it does seem like they are stronger. Like you see one of them now like... Come, you see one of them come to life, right? Like be puppeted, and then there's like okay. they were like under par- partially underneath a wagon, like a, the, one of the burning wagons on the road, and they just like lift it like it's paper and just. Okay. Right? Oh, like, so they're all as strong as Iro. Okay, <laughs> so they could weird, break out. Of weird the specific individual. To well, if they there. were in jail, they could it's just bend them uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Cantarius, it's a magical prison. Yeah, just send them back to hell. <laughs> Go back to the abyss. Uh, I, I, I shout, yeah, you yeah. shall not pass. Let's go. Or a determination. Or not, or, no, or intellectual. Sorry, I already used that. Um, yeah, cool. I have, I have eight dice into it. Anybody, can anybody fork in stuff for that? Uh, yeah, intellectual can, discipline. I have two for sword. I mean, I assume we're still fighting them, right? So, I'm sorry, what would yeah. be the, what would be the ob here? It's a bloody versus. Thing. It's going to be a bloody versus. The same oh, thing so it's whoever wins. It's yeah, the back and forth, well, like the attack and defense. You split your pool into attack and defense, and then figure out from there. You just give them. Oh, dice that's what a bloody versus is. Like, tried in their yeah. sword. What if I yeah. put everything into offense and kill them? Do I not take damage? Oh. Uh, no, you still take damage, and you would kill them. <laughs> right? You'd it's, all. Be it's damaged. a it's a summary of the conflict. So you you. It's you just both give each other mortal can, wounds. Basically, you right? can you can have situations where no one's hurt. You can have situations where both sure. of you die. Right. Is it only Connor who gets hurt, or is it everyone? All of you. Part-time? Everyone's involved in the bloody versus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, sit this one like, out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, I mean, who else? Who, who could Sorry, actually it's... help me in this? Well, so the can thing you is, all like, still you, use your you know, weapons. You can all still fight it. it. It's just that, like, you're the person who has to kill them, right? So, like, Del sure. And so they can like, help with sword, but... chop off legs, pin them yeah. down, and then Kentaris comes out and like, yeah, like, okay, his intellectualist one. Seems fair. Uh, okay, so I think this counts as you having a longer weapon than they do, right? So it's like because it's magic, uh, so you can get one die to yeah. your attack attack portion. My brain um, is longer than theirs. Let's go. Uh, more wrinkles in it, so it's longer. Let's. That's right. There's there's a. It's a softer, softer brain matter. Yeah, they've got smooth brains. Pliable. Yeah. Yeah. Let me double check. Bloody. <laughs> I don't know. That's all, that's all I got. I don't know what a brain looks like beyond that. I don't know how brains work. Nobody does. How do you understand what you are? Yeah. How do you understand what you think with? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it hurts. It's, like, it's <laughs> oh. like a mirror looking at itself, you know? It's, it's, yeah. It's just, yeah. It yeah, what does it do? Yeah. Okay, so Connor, you get one uh, extra die to attack. You get one... Okay. Uh, extra die to defense um, because uh, the rules as the like art magic stuff uh, you get it counts as a shield too as well as a long the longest weapon you okay. magic like this um, do, what's your reflexes very low if I remember correctly um, is it four sorry I don't oh you're it's fine it's weird five. place isn't it Oh, okay, yeah, fine. I found it. Yeah, so you have higher higher reflexes than them, so you can get another die, okay. uh, just which can go anywhere. Uh, so you have one die that can be used just on attack, one die that can be used just on defense, and then another okay. die that can be used anywhere, and then whatever you can fork that can also go anywhere. All right, guys. So right now we're at ten offense and one defense. Anybody want to pitch in? <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, I think you get two dice from all three of us, right? So two dice each. Yeah, I assume we're all helping with skills that are over five. 
So what, 16 to 1? Is that what we're doing? Uh, Delon, do you want to try to get the guards behind you to help in the fight? They they will not uh, do so of their own volition, but if you com- like command yeah. them or oratory them to Need help. shields. Need shields. Yeah, I'll command them. I'll be like, basically, I'm telling them to target the limbs, right? And like, sure. trying to disable the, the bodies. All right, cool. Go, go and make a command test. Let's say ob- um, five, because their will is probably four, and then it's probably like, they're, <laughs> this is little like demon magic that they're fighting. Yeah. So it's they're, they're resistant to this. But also, like, if we die, then they're just going to die next, right? Yeah, but that's what will happen. They'll, they'll just do that and then die next. They, they, they won't be smart enough to to think through that. Sure. It'd be too too. Uh, can I work in suasion because we're fighting demons? Sure. Yep. Yeah. As, as long as you point that out, right? Yeah. Because, uh... yeah, that's another 10 persuasion, dice. Persuasion, I there, assume, Connor. right? Yeah. Um, yeah, persuasion is fine. Ugly truth is or, fine. Okay. Oratory? Yep. I assume that. that oh. Yeah. Can I use intimidation? Uh, I, I suppose you probably should actually see all of this in the role play, but uh, yeah, pro- I'm I mean, sure there's a prob- way to get all these. Turning around and being like, oh, I mean, I guess assuming Cantarius told us what's happening, right? He's like, yep, being puppeted by demons. We just need to disable the body so he deals with the demon inside. <clears throat> You're over here before they kill us and then come for you. Okay, yep. I think all of those forks make sense. Okay. Oh, sorry, was intimidation one of them? I don't remember. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah. Up five. Oof. Wow, I managed to screw uh, that up. To me. Oh, you already oh, used no. your call on. What? What's wrong? I was I was gonna. Oh, are you gonna help? I was me? running. I was running back to yell on <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, we we can add the two dice from from Alphonse. <laughs> Thanks. That would, that would make sense. What, what does Alphonse actually say? Hey, you guys should help us or you're going to die. <laughs> I kind of already said that, but oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say it more persuasive. He, he flexes. Yeah. yeah. Sure. He wiggles his eyebrows while he says Good, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. You got the one success you need. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Yep. So you get another 10 dice that you can add to Cantarius uh, as the guards jump in to help you. Did you just say uh, another 10 dice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the 10 guards are helping us. Mm-hmm. Meet shields, meet shields. Okay, that we can, yeah, we can go 11 defense and 16 offense then. We'll use okay. all, we're all offense and they are our meat shields. Does that sound like a good idea for everybody? 16 to 11? Uh, yeah, I tend to favor defense because if, uh, if it goes to a standstill, you can just try again. And if you die, you can't. But uh, I mean, what are you saying, dude? It's, what are you saying? It's your, it's your, it's your rodeo. It so I would do it the other way around, but it's up to you. All right. You convince me. Um, convince me to put everything in offense. No, just kidding. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, I was just trying to keep the game moving. Sure. Yeah. Uh, now, here's the question if we get hurt, uh, this armor coming like can i roll my armor against the injury i assume not right because that's well no because i'm yeah. not getting my armor in the uh, bloody versus so yeah that's the weird thing about bloody versus it does yeah. kind of try to abstract it to the point where like yeah it's sh- you feel like you should be able to use it and then you don't yeah because um, like if i'm rolling and then I, I get four dice to defense so it makes sense that i don't get to use it but in this case I st- i'm still wearing it but now it doesn't benefit me so it's weird i don't know i i think so Okay. Uh, Caleb, well, will you, look at there when we get there. I guess. Uh, sure. <laughs> do yeah, you want to? Matter. Do you want yeah. to roll their? I can roll first as long as you have your pool in mind. Defense yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with what David said. I'm gonna do 11 okay, so here's here's defense. their offense. And wow, Oof. here is their they had defense. Twenty dice thing. Ooh, wow. Probably a thirty-five they had dice 20... thing. What? What? Well, they're now what? demon puppets, right? Monsters yeah. instead of whatever, normal Caleb. dudes. Whatever. Okay. I probably should um, let me. Probably should let me do. <laughs> uh, the issue is Cantarius does need to be the person who rolls this because he's the person that matters, right? That's yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. So eleven versus ten, right? Because that's their defense. So here we go. Okay. So we don't. We don't, we don't win. Don't hurt him. <laughs> don't hurt him. Now you gotta get at least seven on Try sixteen dice. 
Um, that's not going to happen. Uh, so eight. Oh, nice. Okay. Theoretically, you should get eight. Wait a second. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Look at that, boys. Nice. There you go. We succeeded right, so you... where it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're not dead, so I yeah, would, I you would did not get hurt at all. Like this is death. this is the final season. Start killing people off. <laughs> would, <laughs> would, you, would you like to try to? I'd like to like... die, please. No, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, we already know. We do know this, Connor. Would you like to try to like ro- roll a fate or something on that intellectual discipline on a long shot that you get more? I guess. I mean, do I get yeah. anything from the uh, overage on the defense? I assume no. no but you just do nothing. Like they do nothing. I get a to boost. You. I'd like a boost, please. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, so for yeah, remaining, uh, fate stuff. Yeah, boys, <laughs> check <Yeah>. it out. <laughs> So the way the way that the bloody verses describes this is basically again, again. Um, neither side hits right. Uh, this titanic struggle leads to a deadlock. No wounds are suffered. The side with the most defense successes decides what happens next. So this is you, Connor. I push them um, into jail. Uh, no, another round of fighting, preferably <laughs> with a different power. skill. Another round of fighting, preferably with a different skill. A fort versus test to outlast your opponent. A power test versus to subdue your opponent, or a speed versus test to escape. Or both sides may agree to call it a draw. Let's call it a draw and go to Faustus. Let's, let's leave. Let's leave this to the guards. Oh, okay, we tried. Guards, good luck. Finish them off. I would also like to say that as, can, as this I fight cast is happening, a magical curse on them. They'll die yeah. now. Quick, guys, run. As this fight is happening, <laughs> I feel like screwed. um. Cantarius, you're the, there are black veins creeping up your neck towards your face. Okay. And I yeah. feel like the fighting is intense enough that like no one's noticed it yet, but like this is yeah, it's definitely progressing. I mean, I guess it's a power test, right? I mean, try to we try to just do a that new round sense. and then have Theo use faith and then I mean, I'm fine with that. Just Please let away. everyone go home safely and, <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, or of holiness, just holy them. Yeah, there you go. Mm, I guess I probably should have given you some dice to, for um, them being affected by this. That or or mm, holiness. True. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it would have mattered enough. But. What? Uh, Did I we think get power, bonus power dice for more of magic too. What? Uh, does aura magic just affect Alphonse though? I don't think so. That's why it's an aura. Yeah, it affects. The, wait. Yeah. Every, 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 right. Yeah. Um. Plus two dice to any magical skill for both himself and his allies. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's let's add these dice in. So I would assume you would put these on um, D, uh, offense, right? You would have probably, probably just even them out. Yeah. Anyway, right? Um, so so I would I would say give another give yourself another four dice, Connor. Uh, do do the fate option. Do do um, four dice against four ob. Um, for Alphonse's hour of magic and Theo's uh, aura of holiness. Okay. Look at that! Another fail. All right, next so round. Close. Right, yeah, so I, close. I just wanted to what give you a chance. Right? Uh, two so two dice good. away. Two successes yeah. away. Yeah, that's, that's close. two away. You could have gotten sixes. They were open ended. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, so uh, yeah, but I didn't. I do think it makes sense to do <laughs> the like uh, go to a, a power versus test, right? Because the, the most important thing here okay. is like get them on the ground so that the Cantarius can like get in their minds, right, and d- like break the bond, right? So that's not going to be me because I got a four in power. Yeah, who who's who has the best power? Who can like try to manhandle these guys? It has Dylan to be Dallin, right? Oh Dylan no, it has five. to be Theo. It's probably Theo. Um, I have Theo a five. Has I, have power? Four. I, have, I think I thought it was Dallin. It's you, Dallin. Yeah. What? Really? <laughs> yep. My power's on four. Oh. All right. That's... Well, it's been nice now, you guys. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, their power's uh, like fifteen. Their, their power has to be. It has to be. Can I cast essential to? Buff his... They're gonna pin us down and eat us. Yeah. Well, instead of doing a power test, why don't we just fight them again? That's uh, where we I mean, can I'd actually prefer maybe to do win. that. But I think the rules state it. It's it has no, you to be pick. another. It, prefer, it says pick. preferably. You do get to pick, Connor. Uh, it does say preferably with a different skill. Right. Oh, but just we literally only have one skill that works. Oh yeah. So that doesn't matter. <laughs> do it right? again. Just re-roll. Let's go. Well, let's. <laughs> wait, let's. Uh, maybe we could have Alphonse use a different. Like you know what I mean. If we're using a different yeah. skill, Alphonse could do it. Because I don't, unless you have another skill that allows sorceress. You should have him persuade them to sit down for us. <laughs> that, that's not one of the options that is listed. You here. should make them feel guilty. Try to inflict their guilty condition. 
Um, yeah. I would be fine with like Make doing feel bad about like what they're doing. Uh, have Jared try to do essential discipline and have the narrative di- like thing there be like uh, Cantarius like like grabbing his face because his like eyes start <laughs> go to going black right and he's yeah. just like oh right like something is going wrong with Cantarius and so Alphonse had to like step forward and and take the lead on this. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, as long as I can still get helping dice because otherwise yep. we're gonna die. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna teleport them to the sun. <laughs> Dude, OP. Of a hundred. Dang it, we we, we goofed. <laughs> Jared's uh, like, if only, ourselves to the if, sun. if only the rule was was still there that I could use all of my persona in one roll. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Try it anyways. Uh yeah, Alphonse, any any significant differences between the dice here? Um uh, maybe. You're still getting Aura of Magic. You're still getting Theo's Holiness. You're getting two dice from Cantarius. Okay. Well, um, I'd be rolling. Using do I have time to? Do I have time to buff? No. Okay. Um, should I teleport them or burn them with Sorceress Fire? I think burning them with Sorceress Fire is going to be the best option here. Like with yeah. essential discipline. <laughs> given given okay. what's happening here, that seems like the best option to me. All right. All right. So I'll use essential. I'll just do like the plus one buff for continuous to like give me time. Plus two for spatial. So, you know, spatial helps with everything. Uh, I, I'll say no to continuous, but spatial is fine. Giving me giving myself more time to like focus. I don't think that in, matters in as much as you think it might. Um, okay. But the, the, I think the spatial makes sense as like a help like to rip their like the connection but apart like like and the influential to keep the guards brave and not flee no i don't think so oh, man. okay um so yeah however you would like to split those dice well sorceress fire is just a spell it's not really attack and defense Uh, it's you, it's a you, weapon. It's, it's as bloody weapon. versus it it counts. Oh, you you yeah you're splitting between you you do get an extra die for it being a shield. You get an extra die for it being a longer weapon. Um, How many on, dice did Connor roll? A lot. He rolled eleven, twenty seven, twenty nine. How did he roll twenty nine dice? We had ten from the guards. Ten from the guards oh. too. Okay. Because I'm amazing, Jared. Come on. <laughs> Cantarius yeah, is the is the most is overpowered you character failed. in this entire campaign. Connor, you failed. Dang That's it. why we're having to make this roll again. <laughs> Dang it. It's okay. because Connor is his brother. So he's like, here's just 10 dice. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I had David had to make a roll. He'd take, he take dice away from me. That's what he'd do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I commanded them to fight with that's us. How, that's how brothers do things. <laughs> I gotta, do, I gotta do math. Figure out how much I have total. Right, yeah. So, so count count one extra for attack because it has the longest weapon. One extra for defense because it counts as a shield. The magic does. Ten for the guards. But five galleons. But I'm your brother. Ten galleons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, two for aura magic. Two for Contarius's magic. Two for Delon's sword. Two for Adam's trident. And yeah, whenever you get those dice sorted, I'll I'll roll for them. And you said it's a nota continuous or influential. Oh, and I get two for Adam's aura of holiness, right? Yes, yes. And you get two from each of us from using skills to help, right? Yep. What is he was he trying to do specifically? Just like sever the bond of so I think yeah, I like have destroy 30, them with magic. 33 dice then total. Okay, cool. How would you like oh. to split those up? Uh, David, you're the you're the. I you're I usually the, just uh, do them evenly, unless I'm like concerned that they're particularly strong, and I favor defense a little. Oh, Alphonse, do you have armor on? Yeah. Um. What or what kind of armor? The full plate mail. Superior that... quality. Nice. Plate mail. Okay. okay. So, so add to... four dice to your yeah. defense. It has to be on the defense. Yeah. Yeah. So you at least you need at least five defense uh, five dice on your defense based on the. Yeah. The dice you're getting. That's what I usually do is I just split the pool 
like pretty evenly, and then I add my armor on top of the defense so that it's more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's careful. Yeah, so well, it have... doesn't do me any good if I'm dead. So twenty defense dice, then and then seventeen attack. Cool. Not bad. Perfect. All right, here's their attack. Jeez. Wow, they, they did way more dice on attack this time. Great. And here's their defense. You can do it. Wow. Um, how many dice did they roll? Sheesh. 35. 35. Oh, we could beat that. <laughs> uh, Jared has definitely beat that before. Um, oh, yeah. Not all 35. Um, I, guess, but... I guess he has 35 total, doesn't he? Oh, wait, wait. Jared, 30 Jared has 33 total dice, I think. Uh, can I f- fork in intimidation? Because I'm just glowing uh, sure. with holy. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, I guess that's a. You got 50% of them, a little bit less. Technique wise? Well, okay, Jared, you, technically, I rolled the dice. You, you can't add any more at this point. Like the dice, the dice pools have been set. Well, that's, Connor added a bunch of dice at the end. Because we had forgotten things that mattered, not that you're trying to muster for more dice now that you see what they rolled. <laughs> but dad, mom said I could. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have to call it that. Like, you, you have to work with the dice that you have after I, I asked you, are you, okay, cool, you got your dice together. I will roll now. <laughs> right. Jeff, I mean, he's kind of got pools. you there. He's kind of got you. Yeah. Go ahead and roll those pools. I just think it's ridiculous he's rolling 25 dice. That's, you do, I mean, that's you do get to add. I mean, 35 dice. <laughs> Well, yeah, but they're like, yeah. 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 You do get to add the exclamation point at the end, uh, uh, Jared, because it's uh, magic, right? Oh, gee. Are they are they not magic? No, they're just fighting with like a like brawling or savage attack or something like that. Oh, okay. I guess everything about them just screamed magic to me. But I'm thankful. Their weapon isn't magical, right? Like they're not. The fact that they are still alive and can only be killed by magic is the magic part. Um, Okay, sure. (laughs) Uh, How do I roll this? Uh, so whatever the die, so um, oh, I get it. It's because they haven't made any friends attack? along the way, because that's where the real magic is. Seventeen. You know, uh, defense is twenty, attack is seventeen. All right, here's attack. Plus, Wait, do you, is it gray? No, neither no. am I gray. Okay. Oh, and can I spend fate at the beginning to add dice or no? Oh, not so at the beginning, but after at the, the beginning. Fact. That'd be persona. Yeah. Oh, okay. But after the fact, you can't spend fate. Yeah. All right, here's okay. attack. So we do damage. Thank goodness. There you go. Ooh. And how much was defense? Twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the one I'm hoping you fail. Oh yeah, no, perfect. Okay, you meet it. That that does mean that I believe they get a mark on you though, or an incidental hit, whatever the lowest hit is. Yeah. I think wait, so. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you get to roll. Uh, I can roll. re-roll. I can spend, I can defense. re-roll uh, dice. So basically, if you if you spend one fate, you can reroll one failed dice because it's already open ended. That so you have to that's the word you have to choose. You have to choose one of the die <laughs> somewhere. Let's go! Nice. They do nothing. Suck it. Perfect. Yeah. So you do. You guys do one amount of whatever it is. Well, I think uh, we see. get a mark, right? And they get I, think, a... I believe that's yeah. all that goes. Well, for sorcerer's fire, we have to do a bunch of different stuff. There, there is, well, I yeah, think, a different. Slightly we, different we, calculation. Um, do you have to do a? St- do they have to do a stew steel test after they do a mark or whatever? Uh, I don't think so because it's like a. It's this is. Well, maybe I don't know. It's it's sort of generalizing a lot of what's going on. So like they don't take an injury at the very end. It's like a, over the course of the fight they get hurt, right? Um, but they okay. might. Do so steel, the way this know. works is, um, it. Your your perception is the base power. What's your perception, Alphonse? Uh, you'll have to look it up. Okay. Uh, base of five. We haven't so even gotten the Faustus yet. That's the five there. Uh, VA of two. That doesn't matter. Uh, die fate as bow. Success may be used to in- successes may be used to increase damage plus one power per extra success. Increase the VA two successes for plus one VA or modify the die fate one success for plus one die fate. Um, so basically I would say, uh, basically your choices are, uh, Jared, you can use that extra success to increase the base power or, uh, increase the chances of getting a higher role on deciding what the, the actual David, is. do it for me. Um, so as it stands, um, I believe that the, like something with a base of 
five. What does he have for power? Let me, I'm gonna quick change this to five. It would be uh, four, eight, and 12 are the okay. incidental mark in superb. So if you increase, yeah. if you increased it by one, the, the base power by one, that would make the options that you would have to roll a D6 on yeah. change to five, nine, and 13. Um, or you okay. could add one to the barrel, add one to the die of fate and make it a possible higher. It, it, it's more likely that you get a higher result. Um, probably add to the die of fate. Then I feel like adding one probably isn't going to make a big enough difference if we get okay. a bad roll. So sounds good. Uh, die of fate. Got a four. So uh, a B8 wound has been okay. given to them. Not bad. That's probably at least something. <laughs> I believe it is. Oh, let's take a, ch a check here. Um, uh, midi wound for them. Okay. Cool. So yeah, they they've been given a midi wound. Um, then the way that um, bloody verses is described here. Um, one side hits. Apply the wound result as per the weapon rules. Describe how you've bested or run off your opponent. This fight is over. So you do not manage to destroy them, but you are you defeat them, right? Right. And this is probably means they they retreat back towards where Faustus is in the first place, right? That makes sense. Yeah. So you you basically it turns into you guys chasing them down, uh, slash going to where Faustus is. You can you can decide not to run after them, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> but up to you. Um. So so probably the aftermath of this is we see uh, Alphonse. Uh, you know, put, put, bringing his essential discipline to bear, to bear, we see this like kind of like a sickly green energy that he's like siphoning out of them. Uh, and they, you can tell that like the bodies are much more janky now as they move, but they like eventually break free from you guys and mm -hmm. like start leaping and hollering down the, um, down the road towards where you were heading in the first place. Uh, we probably pass over to Cantarius and Cantarius is like holding his face. Um, but otherwise, the guards are like, ah, yeah, we, ran, we ran him off, right? Like, they did very, <laughs> very little. But I mean, they gave us 10 dice. That's, that's not <laughs> but in canon. Sure. You guys were leading the way there, for sure. Yeah. It, it, right. Otherwise, it's a deus ex machina, so they really didn't do much. I mean, well, really uh, yeah, I'm, first. I'm dying. My eyes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I need some I need some eye drops, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> Magical ones if you got them. Uh, so, he so yeah, some I, milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, Snickers. Uh, <sighs> okay, so yeah, so Katarius is gripping his face. Uh, I, I think, I think by the time anybody comes over to say anything, well, I, maybe Theo could make a roll. Maybe with Theo's aura of holiness, maybe he could like burn it away. Well, can sure, I roll magic-wise to see what it is? Yeah, you can try. Yeah. Yes. Why not? What's the ob? Yeah, I can I'll let you do that. Ob seven. Wow, okay. It's a very specific thing that's happening. Well, uh, you know what? Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, ob seven. The celestial sight is like a really powerful die trait, so. Oh, man, I don't know what <laughs> it is. Holy cow. <laughs> Challenging test on your perception, I guess. Holy cow. Can I Welcome. can I do the same thing? I like a challenging <laughs> test of my perception. Uh, uh, I don't think you're in a state to do anything right now. Yeah, I, I, I think he I'm has magic drawing. cancer. Wait, is it suddenly? <laughs> is, it, is it? Yeah, is it suddenly? Yeah, having too far off though. I don't know if hey. that's a one success to fourteen obstacle. I think you might think that I like have a cold. <laughs> Got magic hades instead. Go. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. just there assumed one of the black things, like black demon things, smacked him. Yeah, that's probably the True, first assumption. Yeah. But he he is holding his face, and you can see black veins going up his neck. But yes. I, I assume he's like holding his face in such a way you don't see his eyes yet. I'm doing yeah. the sh I'm Shikaraki. I'm like scratching my neck. I'm like, get it off. Oh, I don't want to think about this anymore. Is that what you guys do? Katarius, are you are you all right? Is this what is this? Is this poison? <laughs> like, start trying to figure out what's wrong with him. Uh, I th I think I think through screams of pain, he's like. I think it's because of the magic. Uh, to make a faith roll? You, you should stop using your magic. 
No, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. I, I can quit whatever die. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I must kill the demons. I'm the only <laughs> one who can. His his hair gets all like like up in the air. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's mine, my own. <laughs> uh, yeah, Theo. Did you say you wanted to make a faith roll to figure out what's going on? I guess. I guess I could figure it out. Yeah, I, I was gonna just try and heal him or whatever it was. I guess. I guess. Do I need to? I need to know first, right? I think you do. Yeah, I think you need to know first. Yeah, sure. Um, I think another ob seven faith test to just get the answer from God, right? Straight faith. I, don't know, I think just like pure concentrated holy energy. Oh, sorry. Um, the ob, ob nine because of the dark star. Oh, it's just okay. Okay. What 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 happens if he succeeds? Hmm. I feel. I mean, he'll okay. this this and then this one he'll find out what it is, right? He'll oh right, yeah. But like, I guess if he's like, I don't bad, know. We'll get there. We we'll get there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, would you like They're to spend a fate? Well, it's open ended anyway, so they would have rerolled automatically. Um, you can spend uh, one fate to reroll one failed dice, Adam. If you do, oh, do I need um, this one, actually? Yes. Wait, how, how did you get? How did you roll that? He has a gray shaded faith. Remember, that was impressive. Well, it didn't mm. matter. They rolled one two. Uh, That's impressive. That's almost a hundred percent success rate. Yeah. Yeah, and Bernie Wheel, very impressive. <laughs> yeah, I've never done that before. <laughs> what is that like, Adam? <laughs> um, how do you how feel? Do you feel? <laughs> I feel enlightened. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see how this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that was a th- hey. That's a three, though. That counted as a success, though. You, do, oh, you still shoot. did get eight successes. You didn't get a six, so it doesn't matter. But no! you're one away. You feel like you should know, but like, yeah, the the the. <laughs> The darkness Second of the dark is hour the first loser. is is like keeping you from discovering it, right? You feel like you should know. You're really frustrated that you don't. Yeah, there's a blockage for sure. That would have been a challenging too. Dang, I should have said I should have spent a principal. Yeah, I mean, no, you get the challenging test, don't you? No, nope, not for faith. It has to be successful. That's. Oh, that's, that's why it's stupid. so significant that he has a gray shade faith because it's yeah. the chances of him succeeding on rolls has gone up so drastically. Also, that's why I have so much persona in faith because I have to like yeah. that I That's the only thing that doesn't change the type of test it is, right? If he How can we didn't put Arthur into it? Uh, I should I, I thought I didn't think I was getting a negative a roll. <laughs> that's true. I mean, how why why would you expect to have a hundred percent success rate? That seems stupid. <laughs> Well, like, I mean, with the plus two, it's just like, it's already difficult, and I only have two persona left, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, only two with persona left, yeah, that, that's very understandable. With the one, I'm, I'm saving the one other than Yes, that. so, Theo, you ha- you do not know what's going on with Cantarius. Um, I mean, we all knew that, like, there was something going on, like, he has, like, weird dark the magic stuff going on, but, like, n- I don't think any of you know the extent of it, right? So. Someone figure it out, so I can roll for it. <laughs> I out. mean, I don't think anybody else has a role to make, so I think everybody's just like, "What's going on?" Well, I mean, I think I know, right? All right I mean, here we I think go. You so, <laughs> what role are you making? I mean, I did I say did it, it, right? <laughs> nice, good job, David. Thanks. You can persuade the peasant me to... to become yeah. a faithful person. There you go. So, well, so I mean, I already told. I already, I mean, I already said it, right? I was like, "It's the magic." Yeah. But I guess nobody really knows the ins and outs of it. Is that what the role yeah. is? Yeah, so yeah. Like how would we? If, if Adam had succeeded this? on that role, he would have known that your 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 magic is slowly killing you, and for now, into getting giving you the ability to like it took away your sight and gave you the ability to see into the demon realm and all of the bonds and all that stuff permanently. Well, I mean, but I can just open my eyes now, and then I'll know that, right? I mean, I was assuming that yeah. role was to figure out how to resolve it. Well, yeah, like, that would have been that's the role that he had to make to be able to attempt it in the first place. Yeah, to attempt to res- resolve it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Guys, so I mean, they, I mean, they can know what it is. I mean, I just tell them, right? I'm just like, it's, it's, I, maybe, maybe, like, you know, it consumes my eyes. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah. I mean, I should I use one of my deeds points because I have two of them? I mean, uh, that's you true. Use, you should use your deeds point whenever you pray to have it fixed. Well, it would last. I could I, if I if I would have figured it out that I could roll again. Oh, that's true. It because that would give the temporary white shade for the scene. 
True. And while right. I'm at it, I could, <laughs> I could do some other things. So that, that's true. Yeah. While, while we're true. while we're in this scene where you're conveniently super cool, uh, make my sword permanently gray. Thanks. All right. Cool. <laughs> well, this, yeah. is, this is part of the thing. I'm dead I, serious. I, that's what I'm doing. But I'm I have two. Of this. So like, I'm probably get, there's this scene, and then there's gonna be the scene where we're like fighting. Right. I guess. Yeah, save I one for that. I guess I wanted to use well because because once I'm white shaded anyways. Yeah, the, the way that works, though, is that second deeds point you spent will not give it, you a white shade, right? You, yeah, it's only you, when the RSA happens. You, you have a temporary one at one deeds point and a permanent one at three deeds points. So that's, oh, okay. you, technically the way that deeds points work, I, I would probably save it because like um, one, I, I don't think Cantarius is going to want you to take this away and it would be a big deal no, for you I, to attempt yeah. to do so, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, two, I could just do two challenging ones. And, if you, or if you get into a scene stuff. up here, Theo, where like it, it becomes very important to do some cool faith stuff, you can spend both of your deeds points in one faith roll if you really need to on oh. the on the front end and the back end, right? Um, okay, sure, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I won't, I won't do it. But yeah, so so Cantarius, um, I think what what happens is you are holding your face, and then you you finally like stop and you like look up and you blink, and you, her, his eyes are like a smoky black, and you feel fine now, Cantarius. I, once it, I feel great. Once it goes to your eyes, but but as soon as you look up, you can yeah. see like. Well, you can't see, right? You, you can only yeah, see. Well, I just see. Well, you okay, see so like, an aura, I have celestial right? sight. So, yeah, so I can see the people, and 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 I can put together what's around me with the auras, right? Yes. Yeah, so exactly. I'm not like gonna walk into a building and be like, "Are we?" No. Right. Okay. No. Um, but so, but everything that's not like magical is kind of like shadowy to you, right? Like it is. Yeah. The things you can see most are like people and especially yeah, yeah. auras and demons yeah. and those sorts of things. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I think once I open my eyes, I think he probably starts crying, like silently, as he's just can. kind of like looking up at hell. I don't think you can, and Connor. I think I think um, a Cantarius uh, like does the heave of like a, a sob or, or, or something, but like no tears come out. Huh? Bonkers. Uh, it's disgusting. Um, you, you feel sad. the emotion. Okay. You feel the emotion well in yeah, your chest, yeah. but like it feels like there's like yeah. nothing to no no release that can, to it. Yeah. Um. I think he. I guess he tries tries to swallow it back down, mm. and uh, um, just says, um, "Well, I don't know. I think he probably thinks there's some sort of significance to this. Like whenever, because he be he. Why did he become blind? Did we? It was because." Of a construction you, accident where the king died, right? No, no. You were you you were see whenever you were. I don't think we've discussed when you got your magic. Oh no, originally. I just got my magic, right? But uh, what what happened is you got the sensory discipline and yeah. you became a seer, kind of by accident, yeah. by like by stumbling into it. And yeah. you didn't know you were doing this to yourself, but you basically mm -hmm. gave yourself the blind trait to. Yeah, I slowly, magic. maybe suddenly became blind. Yeah, probably more suddenly. So yeah, I, pro I mean, he probably is just like. Um, he probably just says, uh, I suppose power always does make one blind. And uh, swallows it back down and just is like looking up at hell. And just says, yeah, You can see it now. It's just permanently yeah. there, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think he just says, I'm fine now. It's time to end this. And yeah, I mean, he he, look, he looks creepy as heck, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good question. Is anybody like, oh, he's possessed. Let's kill him. Because <laughs> I don't know. I probably would. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to do a magic wise to see if I should kill him. No, no, you already <laughs> dig <did>. it. <laughs> he's, he's, he's farming. <laughs> Stop and, him, somebody. Theo has already. He's, he's too powerful to be away with this. <laughs> He's too powerful to be left alive. <laughs> too dangerous to be left alive. Um, Theo, I, I you've already done your role too. I, th I think Alphonse and Theo do not, they are not able to find out anything more about what is happening here. You just have to go off your gut instinct, basically. Um. <laughs> Sorry, let's say it again. You cut out. Cut out. <laughs> <laughs> all of the, you, all of time was condensed and then it just like sped up and you said everything. Wait, wait, really was, that, was that actually Caleb's? Yeah, that was my. Yeah, it must have been oh, Caleb. Okay. That, that. <laughs> yeah, it's like really bad. <laughs> he learned how to manipulate time. Oh no, somebody stop I used, him! I use the continuous discipline. Um, 
so um, what I said was uh, Alphonse and Theo both know as much as they know about this. Um, they they have to go on their gut instinct as to what to do with it, about this. They cannot make another role to figure out what's going on here. Technically, Dellen could. But. So we're going to try and heal him right now? It sounds like that is not what's happening, but basically the question is, what do you do when Kentarius says that and has smoky eyes? What did he say again? He said power always... I said power always it. makes one blind. It's it's time to finish this. No, you said I'm fine now. It's time. Oh, to I'm finish fine this. now. It's time to finish <laughs> this. Like, ah! I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Like, uh, I don't think you're fine. <laughs> but but like it's you like, guys have mm-hmm. failed your test to like know what's happening here. So it's not like you don't think necessarily that he's yeah. demon possessed or anything like we that. We just don't know, know right? <laughs> this is like, this anything is so we might sad. think he is. I think I think I, I think I say it says. Kentarius, what are we doing? Like, just checking to see what he means. <laughs> and what is that, Kentarius? What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, what <laughs> just to be sure we're on yeah. the same but page. What, is, what do we need to finish again? Do you remember, <laughs> buddy? <laughs> yeah. He's like, let's the really gods. Like, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, Caleb, I have the Celestial Sight. What do I see? The orb that's in Alphonse's chest. What does that look like to me? Do I gain any new information about it or new insight about it? I'm not sure there is any new information to get from it, really. Am like, I able basically. to see the other... Uh, how, wait, how many other? Are there seven or nine? Uh, there are five of them. I wait, believe. what? One Did we destroy two of them? No, one for each of you. Remember? There's always been five? There's always been five. Cantarius, Alphonse, Dellen, oh. Theo, and Antonius are the five. I guess I'm thinking of Horcruxes and the Nine Rings of Men. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Those are not yeah. the same property. <laughs> There's been five. The, the five of you are the ones of prophecy, right? Like you, yeah. you only only five of you have names, right? Cantarius is um, the son, yeah. the father of the devil. Dellen is yeah. the uh, son of redemp- son of retribution. Alphonse is the master of flattery, and Theo mm-hmm. is. Um, the 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 ghost who loves a ghost, Antonius yep. is the one with no voice. Those are the, those are the titles you've been given. Uh, so I yeah, so where yeah, are they? Can you, I you see, see them? Yeah, you you see the orb in Alphonse's chest, obviously very clearly. Yeah. Uh, Theo's yeah. aura of holiness is shining. Delin's commanding aura is also kind of shining. Right, it's, I'm just it's like in his in his celestial side, I'm just white. Like, you know, just yeah, pure brightness. Exactly, pure, yeah, yeah, blinding. Like you, pure, I don't think you can. I don't think you can look at Theo without like oh, that's you, you literally that's have to like depressing. look away. Yeah, I hate this. I hate Kent. Kentarius is such a depressing <laughs> character. He's this has always been so hard to play him. Yeah, he makes me so sad. Uh, I'm trying to remember okay. where the other artifacts are. Um, oh yeah, he 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 stole them all. <laughs> yeah, he has all. He has all has the other one. ones. It's Faustus that has all of them, right? Yep, yep. So you okay. you do see the? I think. Did he hide them under a rock, or is he yeah. letting them shine? I'm yeah, trying to decide. Like, I think they hide them under a bushel. They're probably no. split between uh, the Colosseum and the um, gosh, daughter. <laughs> that was so good, Adam. I no. Um, I think they're split. the The other four are split between the Colosseum and the base of the Guildhall District. Oh, why don't we just um, go? I think you are like uh, Faustus has. I mean, trying to remember the not? okay, so there's the chalice that he stole from Dellen, the amulet that he stole from that he was like basically stole from Theo, yeah. the ring that he had originally, and the oh, what's the other one? Oh, the medallion, the like sun disc thing. There's an amulet yeah. and then the medallion. And yeah, so yeah there's, the a, there's an amulet and a big like disc of metal, basically. <laughs> Um, which is the sun disc. So I think uh, the chalice and the the amulet are in the Guildhall district, and the ring and the sun disc are in the uh, Coliseum. I vote we don't split the party, but I vote we go to the Guildhall district first, get the other two. Or I don't know. No, maybe Faustus has a way to get back to them. So maybe we just kill Faustus still. I just want to kill Faustus. I want to, like, yeah. we've been leading up to that for so way too long. When these stupid puppets got up, I was like, let's just leave them. Let's, I don't even just kill Faustus. So let's, yeah, I think we just go kill Faustus first. Even okay. if it's not the smart thing to do. Yeah, I, I, don't like, it, I think it's fine either way. I, I don't have any particular preference myself. It'd be like in Pirates of the Caribbean when after they, they turn them all, to, you know, after they 
destroy the curse, they all become and they just kind of like give up. Like if we kill Faustus, everyone just kind of like, all right, we quit. Like, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, that's a good thought. Let's hold on to that thought. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, guess I like that have, idea. They still have to kill Targoth in some form. Right? Yes, you do know that is as long as you kill the demon that's in Faustus, the the necromancy will go away. Right, like that. That that's yeah. Easy. And I, I, I oh, think okay, cool. well, doesn't the keys have something to do with Targoth? Like we can, we can't. We may not be able to kill him, but we can, like seal him or something. And we have to well, kill well. Uh, no, no, no. The, the keys we can make are the universe the, right. Yes, the, the keys are the key to um stopping the demons entirely. Right, like banishing them forever yeah, from this yeah. place. So if we kill right. Faustus, we can get the keys and yeah. do. Say the town and Mr. Crab. I mean, okay, hold up a second. Actually, Mr. Crab, I can see exactly where they are in the Guildhall district. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they? Can I see people around it? Is somebody guarding it? Yep. Um. There. Who's there are several. It? Uh. You. You. You recognize. Um. A, a. The aura of a young child who is demon possessed. Oh. Uh, okay. Over there. It's a. Uh, um, so. Uh, what's the C guy name? I, I'm gonna be honest. Alphonse. I. I, I. I say. I say. Does anybody have a piece of paper? Can you see it? I suppose I can't. Maybe um, <laughs> I say I, I, I like I like draw in the dirt. I'm like, this is where the the two of the artifacts are in the guild hall district. And the map is not very good because he can't actually <laughs> see the lines he's yeah. making. He's just having to like guess where he'll put the last line. Well, but I can I can still see where the ground is. So I yeah, I just map kind it out of... in my head and it's yeah, like, it's, it's, it's not no even, I get I get the point across, but it it's looks not, like yeah, a child. Right. Right. It does, yeah, it does not look good, but it's you get the point. They're like all drawn over each other. Yeah. I'm like I'm like I'm like Alphonse, if you teleport right here, you can grab both artifacts and teleport out in no time. But so so, if so he as a reminder, me he has all of them. Yes, as a reminder, um uh, the, the the order of events that needs to happen here help. is uh, you need to get the keys and then you need yep. to get to Luca. Luca yep. needs to be exercised and then Luca yep. needs to touch the artifacts. Th that's the sequence of events that needs to happen here to do the day of reckoning, the hour right, of reckoning thing. I mean, my thought is like, why don't we just take the artifacts real quick and go hide them somewhere else first and then we can go kill Faustus. That way, if we lose, like just teleport them. If we to lose, the it's ocean not going to matter. <laughs> well, it won't matter for us, but. I suppose. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, let's just go kill Faustus. Whatever. Yeah, if the campaign let's, let's is over, it. the campaign's over. Who cares? Yeah. Let's well, go. The thing is, I mean, also narratively, it, he would just find them again, right? Like, I mean, he he probably has a similar power, or at least the capabilities to find them somewhere. I suppose so. that's true. I guess I was just thinking, it'd just be so easy to just teleport in and out. Yeah. Yeah, you think that, but probably not. Like he has, there's so many demons in so hey, many places they put right the, now. Uh, they they put the the chalice in like. An unteleportable prison. So he teleports in, but he can't get out. So like, yeah. <laughs> like we trapped you. Yeah. So I think I think what happens is we just see you guys head towards as long as no one else is like uh, questioning Cantarius' yeah. smoky eyes. Uh, cynical eyes. <laughs> now Fonz is like like waving in front of his face. Can you see? Yeah, as long as no one questions it, I think we get uh, you guys walking down the road again, and we get to this bridge down that crosses. Yeah, that that crosses the embassy to the embassy district and the Coliseum district and stuff. And I think what we see is you guys. This is where we're on the episode. Um, you guys uh, kind of make your way partially across the bridge, and we uh, we're gonna make a roll here now because if this succeeds. You start to see something else than the bridge. So here is oh stinky. A roll if it's, from if it's uh uh what's what's the zombie dude that keeps coming back? <laughs> it's, not, it's not Constantino. No, uh, it's not Constantino. And and uh, oh, by the way, here's a question. Um, does who has Gorath? Gorath's oh, on head. Us? Is, is, he, he, is he still in someone's bag? I think the last time we checked, he was in my bag. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah, because I, sure. I fell out of the world uh, and he was crushed or something. Right. I, I'm curious if you just like put him somewhere else or if you. I mean, I no, think I we haven't had time. He's yeah, of, I mean, you, yeah. you could have given him to Achia. No, I just keep him with us. Okay. He's fun. I like him. He's dead is right now, but. He's dead? Yes, he has taken a mortal wound. Slowly coming back to life. In a coma, slowly coming back to life. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, no big deal. Like if you open the bag, it's literally like brain matter all over and like crushed skull, and <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice. not his eyes popped out. <laughs> yeah, keep keep him in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want I don't want that in mine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me oh, roll here. Oh. <laughs> it would smell bad, or it'd smell less bad because he's healing. It's, not it's, like ma- it's a magic bad smell. It's not a big deal. It just smells like metal. Yeah. That's magic. Like, like blood. It smells like a penny, you know? Yeah. Well, that's the smell of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Pennies. I feel it in my bones. It's magic in my bones. All right, I'm making an intellectual discipline roll here to do why is, an illusion. Why is, um, why is, why is uh, <gasps> what did you just do, Caleb? What did you just, Caleb? What did you just do? Um, okay, well, uh, I rolled a bunch of sixes, that's what I did. Um, so, uh, um, let's see, what, what do you guys have to roll against this? Um, was that hey, Gorath? You, you, got, you guys. Nope. No, it wasn't Gorath. Um to blow up the bridge. Make a versus test between intellectual discipline and the victim's perception. Um, what? Be sure to add it. But okay. uh Cantarius, you could do this with your like sensory discipline. Okay, cool. Is this Caleb, is this the nightmare episode? This is the nightmare episode that we're gonna about to get. Yeah. Crap. I don't want a nightmare. That sounds <laughs> spooky. I, I wasn't sure it was going to be, but with 16 I'm successes, afraid. we're getting the nightmare episode. <laughs> I, li- I like nightmare. I'm I'm very partial to nightmare episodes. Yeah. So basically, um, an illusion is being cast on you guys. Um, okay. The bridge is going to turn into something that is not. You're going to start seeing things uh, as you cross this bridge. Um, okay. Cantarius is, is going to be the person who's the, the best. Um, probably. Yeah. Um, it, it, does celestial? I mean, hold up a second. Does it affect me if I have celestial sight? Because it's an illusion. Do I just see that it's an illusion I instead? I think you can do intellectual discipline instead, if you would like. Their vision is confined to the realm of auras. They see pure auric emanations given off by life, arcana, and ephemera. I, I think if um if this guy was using sensory discipline to try to do an illusion, then yes, you'd be able to see right through it. But he is not. So, He's doing intellectual well, discipline. So with this trait, one can see the auras of spellcraft. The obstacle to detect a spell cast is six minus the spell ost- obstacle. You could also roll. I I think I need you to roll intellectual discipline first to see if you are f- immediately fooled by this. But there's definitely Cantaris is going to be the person who figures this out if anyone does. Oh, okay. So you want me to see? Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's start with that. You want right? you want to get the nightmare episode first, and then I can figure I, it. I want to see if you, you can somehow get sixteen successes with intellectual discipline. Well, I can't do that. So have your cake and eat it too, I guess. But yeah, the the, the thing that's important here, uh, Connor, is that um, because it's intellectual discipline, this is this is him putting images in your mind um, yeah. that are overlapping your ability to see auras, right? If it was I mean, I guess with 16 successes, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, so I'm not yeah, going to argue much. with that. That's pretty much that's true. He he spent um, three Artha on it. He just got rolled really well. That's really actually what happened. Yeah, that's a stupid roll. How that's that's ridiculous. He's even got wounds. You, you, I've never yeah. succeeded with wounds. You will get a one free success, Cantarius. Um, uh, for oh, that obstacle, obstacle penalty. <laughs> <Right. you have. laughs> that's amazing. Uh, I but can't it, fork anything into technically, this. Technically, so. anyone else can also make a perception test or whatever to well, try to see through I, the illusion. But can I fork sensory discipline in with this? That I like. Yes, I'm good yeah, at illusions. Yep. I, I know how to. I know how to loose. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not the word. Um, but sixteen obstacle. That's all. That's just roll. I think so. No, no one can help you. They can make their own rolls. But oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Remember earlier, one. Adam, when you wow. rolled this exact amount of dice got and you got all successes but one? <laughs> this is the result. This is what you did to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so the good instead. numbers. Whoever else would like to roll a perception test to try to see through this illusion, you can against Ob 16. Um, can you fork? What can I fork in? Can I fork Nothing, in it's, it's a stat. Oh, you can't forward it. That's right. No. Okay. And technically, uh, because you're using it against the perception against the skill, it's actually an ob um, 32. It'll double. What? Did you uh, just say an ob 32? Yep. Yeah, because why, why is it 32? 
it's, it's because he got rules, 16, yeah. he, he rolled a skill and you're rolling a stat stats against skills are always worse if you had like observation or something like connor does then you could roll that instead well Woohoo, a four. That's actually pretty good. That's a, <laughs> That's a oh, really wait. good roll for what you got. You get a challenging test. Wow, you got three sixes. <laughs> wait to just if, flip Connor the bird in your <laughs> oh, hey. hey, I actually I actually got I, I leveled up my perception. Nice. Nice. What about you, Dylan? Uh it's a perception test. Yep. All right, well, you said observation worked, right? Yep, you can use observation instead. And then, right. then it's just an ob sixteen. Uh, uh, no, dude what those are so bad i mean oh, oh do i have the highest percent no wait alphonse has good perception yeah you both have good ones i have four perception but i had three um observation. Uh, three observation and that made my op 16 instead of 32 so, you know. oh okay but you roll right. a one so, so yeah one. basically yeah. we start to see the nightmare episode right um okay. the bridge the tur- <laughs> as in like um you're about to like it, it basically he um Liren, the it, the inquisitor guy um okay. he's hiding but he's hiding beneath the bridge right now um and is creating an illusion for all of you in your mind so as you cross the bridge you suddenly are not crossing the bridge anymore you're now whatever i decide the nightmare is next time um okay. so yeah. you will have to find a way to break free from this and kill this guy before you can move on Okay. Um, I I am so surprised he got that high of a roll. That like that was <laughs> ridiculously unlikely. Um, but yeah. I'm also really glad because this guy has <laughs> been a villain. I wanted to like actually see like a really good showdown between him and Cantarius. He's, It'll he's the Green be... Goblin too, so it's just like William Defoe exactly. in our minds going. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what you're gonna hear. You're gonna be like, ah, Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So next time we can talk about like um what crazy things you guys are going to see in your nightmares um yeah and um oh, Kentarius is going to be Kentarius is going to be the main person who's going to probably break three from this and kill the guy but we'll see how that goes and that's uh, not like the we, whole yeah are, are we like it, it is part of the illusion like you kind of believe it if you don't like yes. your, your own you feel like yeah. suddenly the bridge turned into something that like they're like it, i think it happens slowly enough that by the time you're in like a, a completely different place and then the bridge your mind has just accepted it sort of a thing right yeah yeah like a dream right yeah exactly so we we can talk about that I, i'm honestly interested in what you guys think would be fun for your characters uh to do oh, I, I already know right so feel free know. to message me about it um but yeah i think primarily it'll be about like doing some character arc stuff with you guys uh, and then Cantarius being the person probably who breaks free from it. Um, we could probably have Alphonse try to spatial discipline himself away and then still be in the illusion <laughs> somehow, right? That would be weird. But yeah. Cool, I think that's our episode. Um, and yeah, I think you guys will be fighting in the illusion too because I, I think they're going to try to like him and his Inquisitor is going to come try to knife you while you're in the illusion. Um <laughs> So there'll be, there'll be some fighting and stuff that we can do. Okay. All right, cool stuff. Let's go ahead and do give out some Martha and get out of here. That was a fun session. Yeah. Excited, to get, excited to get back to it. Um, Connor is holding a baby, so let's uh, start with you, David. Let's see. Ensure that leaders are punished and membership to be. Yeah, we didn't really interact. That'll be next position. time. Yep. Yep. Uh, reach the demon that claimed it, but not Luca. Obviously, we've been walking Fate that point. direction. Yep. Q. Um, bring the city back from the brink. Um, I think I'll. I might just give you the persona. Um, uh, okay. maybe I don't know. I don't know. Uh, up to you. What do What do you think? What What's interesting to you about this belief? Like, we could just say that your thing with the king and these merchants is enough to be like, okay, you did what you could. Now you focus on the Faustus stuff. Yeah, um, I think that makes sense. Okay. That's as fine. long if you're more interested in like moving on from it and doing something yeah. else and like focusing on Faustus, then that's that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I think at this point that's that's the best thing that I can do to solve the problem, right? Like I've done everything else I kind of think. Yep. So. All right, so persona there. And then uh let's delete that. Uh, you're yeah. working towards the Faustus one. You like uh, all of this is obstacles in the way of that. So Yeah. Okay, cool. Fate point there. Sick. Uh, I don't know if your instincts mattered today. Yeah, I mean, we. I kind of, I kind of got us entangled in that fight. I don't know if that. 
necessarily. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there was like, really that was like your belief that got you into trouble there. That's true. Yeah. Um, disciplined. I'm trying to think if there's like a trait that we can tie this to, uh, maybe sworn to the church or something. Right. Uh, yeah, sure. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like your, your obligation is kind of the thing right. that's. I also have something. the do whatever it takes to win when something more important to myself is at stake. I could say that, like, you know, I was trying to protect them. Either, I think either one. Yep. Makes you can give it fate, fate for right? the trouble there. Two. Yeah. Sick. And then do we have a humor moment with Dylan today? Uh, not with me, I don't think. I don't remember saying anything funny. I don't know if we had a, do we have a right skill, right time? Moment? There is definitely a humor moment with Alphonse, with the uh, the broom thing. Yeah, well, yeah, he was talking about me, but yeah, definitely. Oh, you sure. specifically, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going through uh, as as the specific characters, yeah. The only thing I could think of was maybe command, because I got to, I told those guards to help us, which... Th- was that is huge. the only reason we won that fight. And the uh, the king, too. I'll give you right, the right time. Like, the, <laughs> Delon being Next. commander was what I wanted to see today, and we got yeah. it, so. Sick. What's that? Fate point. Okay, cool. Uh, did we get embodiment or mold breaker for you? I don't think so. Seemed pretty straightforward for, yeah. for Delon. Um, well, I mean, I can give you embodiment for the speech with the king. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's a... Uh, persona. Persona, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, Alphonse. Let's see. Uh, Family comes first. You're, here. you're trying to make your son is saved. Um, I don't know if you worked on that at all, actually. Nope. I don't think I worked on any of them. I mean, I guess I kept the orb safe, but um, I think the main thing you did is you worked. You, you're going towards defeating Faustus, right? You, fate point there. The, these the are obstacles. Hold. Yeah, these are ob- obstacles in the way of doing that. You yeah. get fate point there. Mm. Um, I do need to make, like <laughs> threaten the orb specifically for that third belief. I'll try to do that next time. He's gonna Actually, that's probably exactly chest. what I'm going to do next time because they're in. You're in an illusion, and they're going to try to like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and dissect it, it from your body while you're in a dream state yeah yeah you start fe- feeling pains in your chest and you start bleeding but you don't know what's happening <laughs> that could be fun um, um i'll give you a fate point for always find a reason to use my powers not that you got in trouble for doing the hia thing but it was just funny funny to see right like um yeah. the fact that you would have done that like it's such a so it's such a trivial thing <laughs> that you did just because <laughs> uh so fate point there um and then, yeah, uh, we can give you a fate point for humor for the lucky moment, like the broom. Mm. Um, but other than that, I think that's it for Alphonse. Okay. Um, Theo? And then whenever you can get back to the computer, Connor, uh, we'll do yours. Um, I'm muted. No, I'm muted. Um, uh, you're working I, on strengthening your faith, right? You got a test towards it, right? Yeah, so fate, right? So fate, yep. Yep. Um... And then there was one going rest with demons. I haven't found Faustus yet, technically. You're working uh, but... on it, so fate. <clears throat> yeah. And then I guess I did find her. Or... Oh, no, I did find her. Yeah. You I, did. I... You made the role to find her, so you can get a persona for that, right? Yeah. You, you made sure she was safe. You, you completed that. Yeah. And then uh, wheeling power roll back, I will take it eagerly. I haven't really been given any sort of power. Um, always trust my friends. Uh, yeah, I guess that was the when i went with Dellen, i guess or maybe yeah oh. like uh, yeah we we talked about like the moment where you were deciding whether or not but, but i, I feel like yeah I, I feel like there wasn't enough conflict there between sure, yeah. you and cantarius like you just decided yeah of course we're gonna help Dellen. there was no, no real stakes there there's no real real moment where like we thought you might not <laughs> so um yeah. yeah i don't think it was okay. significant enough um other than that uh yeah i don't think any of your traits came up uh let's see humor did, did, was there anything funny about the hio scene uh when i said that that proposed i'm gonna protect me oh yeah okay yeah i'll give you that yep humor fate point there <laughs> um i don't want to give you right skill right time every time you use a faith test so no. we'll say no, no it, it wasn't really and I'll give you embodiment. Caleb's really though. trying to nerf faith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I'll give you well because that's not the purpose of that thing. It's it's like I agree. clever. Yeah, it's like an obscure thing usually. Um, embodiment. I will give you though for the scene with Achia. That was definitely fun to see. So that's a persona point. And then lastly, we got Cantarius. All um, right. Yeah. This world is more than blood and gold. I'll use the intellectual discipline to clear the obstacles in my path, despite the risks. Uh, it's kind of like I don't know. It's like a semi fulfillment of that. Your um, my world has been irreparably changed. That's true. I mean, if you changed it now and wanted yeah, to go in a different direction with to... it, then we could get a persona point. Otherwise, well, no. I suppose okay. I'm gonna. I mean, I don't know. Like this I, is definitely I, a milestone for it, but but you, I don't think this is kind of going to be yet. the theme. <laughs> yeah. For, well, I don't need to learn my lesson. <laughs> sure. Sure. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> Slowly killing world... yourself with demon magic. No, no lesson. Well, yeah, here. but not. But I've done something that's like completely changed who I am. So I don't know. I don't know what that means exactly in terms of belief points. But, I, I think uh, belief one is just fate, though. Yeah. Okay. The world will not end. Not on my watch. We will take the keys back from Faustus. I Pay swear point. I'm trying. I really, I really, I'm yep. really trying. Uh, it's my job to put obstacles in front of your beliefs, guys. I think. <laughs> well, obstacles to obtaining it, not obstacles that are just different obstacles. No, but we knew we already had all this foreshadow. We knew this guy was around and he was going to be in your way. Oh, no, I meant the like puppet demons. That's fine. Oh, uh, and then sure. I am yeah, a demon fine. hunter, but my friends come first. I will make sure all of my friends stay alive. I'll give you a fate point for that. Like you, you, um, what the, the whole thing with the, uh, the, I, I accomplished and stuff. That. Uh, does it say I will make sure all of my friends stay alive? Uh, Today. in the next hour? Oh, or in, come on. In the fight we're about am I to supposed have? To, am I supposed to pretend like I know what time frame each episode is going to be? <laughs> I, I do think that like Burning Wheel wants us to be more specific about that if you want a persona for it. Um, this seems like a fate farm to me. Unbelievable. Um, I, I didn't even know this encounter was going to happen. How would you um, have also, raised also, it to Cantarius, have succeeded? You failed to do this. <laughs> it was not your no, no. role. I put that... all my points into defense. I put extra points into defense. Uh, I, I suppose that's true. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're supposed to have a a completion point in these usually. Yeah. This yeah. one, because, you, you cannot yeah. succeed on this one until they die of old age. <laughs> but no, that's that's not the goal. I'll make sure all my friends stay alive. I'm yeah, in but, the coming conflict. But, but in, yeah, this, in in our particular there, context, there's got to be a point where you can say that you've done it, and theoretically. Us staying alive is something you'd have to continue to do forever until we die, and then you fail. Because that's the right? issue. Persona point means you have to change the belief, right? That's how it works. There has to be a finishing point, and yeah. and I mean, you could say, I will not like, want our friends to die." Demon <laughs> war. Yeah, I mean, that's a much easier one to accomplish. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> not. You both have appreciated well, stats. Get I guess I mean in theory, maybe not actually. Yeah, uh, Connor, I'm but, fine if we want to change it retroactively to be. I will yeah. make sure all of my friends stay alive in our fight to Faustus, towards Faustus. I suppose that's true. And then that's fine. Yeah. You can get a persona. Yeah, you can and say, like, I'll, and then I'll I can be like, in the nightmare faster, episode. Right? Exactly. Yep. yep. And then I'll change it be... to the nightmare episode. Yep. Yep. So, persona there. Um, so, I see I see uh, two fate and a persona so far. And then, yeah, we can change that third one too. I'll make sure all my friends stay alive um, as we battle the nightmares. Yeah. I wanted to say nightmare episode, but <laughs> just for the record. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I won't fight you. I almost uh, feel like we could do like each of those episodes if we wanted individually because you're probably going to be like isolated because you're all seeing your own vision. We could, but I don't yeah, know if do it's going to be long enough for that. Do I get any special points on my instinct that says always be on the lookout for the bonds that tie you into the physical world? Because that's going to change now. <laughs> that's true. That, you, that's that's kind of a weird to foreshadowing not. fulfillment. <laughs> I, I do think we can give you a fate point for it. Right, like, because, sure. and then we need to change it, right? Yeah, I don't know what I'll change it to today, but, but that's that's exactly what Burning Wheel wants us to do, yeah. though, right? It's like evolve the beliefs and instincts into permanent things about your character with traits. So yeah, always can... feel sad about the fact that I can't look away from the from hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, always, well, feel sad, yeah. Oh, always okay. avoid looking at my friends. No, that's sad. <laughs> Yeah, so you can you can get a fate point for that one. Um, 
I will go ahead and give you a fate point for always be on the hunt for demons. Uh, right? Uh, like that's sure. that's the reason you went after the the shades. And bang. Stuff is getting weird. Uh, let's take a look here. Well, Anything not else? only that, but now I can't look away from demons. Sad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have a sad life. I can't artist as I suppose. Um, <laughs> any any of your traits come up, come up? Um, I mean traits. I use traits, but I don't. I don't think they like came up. Um, I one the one that stands out to me is resigned to death. <laughs> Mm, uh, yeah. Oh, true. J- just I, the moment with you, like, yeah, not I did, being I able to cry, looking at hell, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's just kind of literally resigning myself to death in a sense. Yeah, so uh, I'll give you a fade point for that one too. Cool. Uh, I assume we didn't have a humor moment for Kintarius today. I, I've never had a humor moment. That's so, not true. Just the other the last episode, you you like oh, hit true, a person, yeah. you hit a shoulder, a soldier in the face with your staff in a funny moment. Uh, right skill, right time. Funny, but I remember. Did you have? I mean, just always intellectual discipline for me. So, uh, I'll give it to you this time. Like the whole thing with the shades, I think sure. makes sense. And then we'll give you embodiment too uh, for looking and in, staring into hell. Nice, thank you. Sweet. All right, there we go. That is Crow Inquisitors. This has been episode 72. Thanks for playing, guys. Wait, what? I thought um, this was another episode of Sparrow Crusaders. Man, I'm getting <laughs> so confused. Uh, real quick, before you head off here, uh, what is the, anyone happen to know what the next couple Saturdays look like for, for everybody? Uh, I think I'm good. Pretty sure I'm good. I, I think I'm good. Next week? Uh, so, I think I'm good, yeah. Sounds good. We'll be back next week then with more back, Crow baby. Inquisitors. Yeah, I'm excited to get... get uh, Get through this arc. It'll be fun. Mm-hmm. All right. This has been Chrome Inquisitors. We're out. Adios.